We're finally back in Unova, or Unova. Unova? Five, yes. Hey. Yeah, now that I think about it, probably could have uh, organized that those those thoughts a little better. Ah, uh, whatever. It doesn't matter. I said my piece. People can watch it if they want. <laughs> and we're loading. And we're loading. Okay, we're gonna meet up with Carmine. I'm back in the center area. So, uh, off stream, I explored pretty much everything here. I did like I explored like every inch of all of these islands just to see if there were any spots I missed, Pokemon I missed, and there were a couple. There were a couple. Um, most notably. Let's see, where did I end the last stream? Oh my god, there's a lot more here than I thought. So, uh, I found a shiny Doe Duo. Um, after I completed enough quests... Okay, after I did enough of those BB League things... Puke Green Doe Duo, yep. Hi there, Michael, it's me, Cyrano. I see you've taken care of a good number of those BBQs. Up until now, you've only had access to the entry-level stuff. Seeing how you handled that, I think it's time to give you some higher-level quests. Keep up the good work, would you? See you around. So I got better quests. Um, I don't know why I took a picture of that. Oh, I think that was for a mission. Take a picture of a Pokemon. I got Magmar. I got Magby. Uh, I got an ability capsule for getting 100 Pokemon in the Pokedex. We need to see some more brisket points. Yeah, more stake points. Got a ride on. I got a shiny execute, which I was like, ah, you already get one of those in Sun and Moon. I don't really care about that. Elekid, uh, I found five things of Terra Shards outside of this arena. Um, there's some more Pokemon I caught that I didn't make note of. Scraggy, Tyrogue, Geodude, Graveler. Alolan Geodude, Alolan Gra Gravel, Grab, 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 Piss Yellow. <laughs> uh, two Cannon. Uh, I caught a Fire Terra type Alolan Muck. There it is. Uh, I got an Alolan Executor, which does not count as separate from regular Executor, even though the other Alolan forms that show up in this DLC do. Uh, I got Araquanid. Uh, I got Horsey. I got the upgrade for getting 110 Pokemon. I had to take a picture of a Horsey. Um, I don't know why. I got an Alolan Diglett. Friggin' Toucan. Yeah, I used to use, I used to love that Toucan. T -t Toucan? The Toucan. I used to use it all the time in my uh, Sun and Moon playthrough. Cottony, uh, Oddish, Gloom, Seedra. That is a Terra type Seedra with Dragon Terra type. The most useless Terra type for it, because if I evolve it, it becomes a Water Dragon type anyway. Uh, Slowpoke, Galarian. Um, I found this person who makes the Galarian items to evolve Galarian Slow uh, Slowtoke. Oh man, that sounds like a fun time. Uh, Galarian Slowpoke evolves with one of two items. This girl can make both of them. So that's how I'm going to evolve and get uh, Galarian Slowking and Galarian uh, Slow, uh, Slowbro. Uh, I got Lapras. I did I did curve into the, the Polar Dome just because I saw a bunch of uh, Pokemon there I didn't have. So I got Lapras, Seal, Chinchino, Quillfish, uh, Hisuian Quillfish, uh, Duosian, Rayonucleus, Minchino. Uh, I got a, a Dubious Disc for getting 120 Pokemon. I caught a Shiny Seedra. Which I was like, oh, hey, cool. I already got one, but whatever. I got Solosis. I got I, I got a Minior, um, a blue one. I found a bunch of other ones, but I didn't catch any other ones. Uh, Duraludin, Dura which I believe has an evolution in this uh, thing. That's from Sword and Shield. Alolan Vulpix. Snubble. Golet. Uh, a Dugong with Fairy-type Terra-type. Uh, I got a Safari Ball for getting 130 Pokemon. Um, I talked to this lady here, but I said no, but I'm gonna read what she says, because I was like, oh shit. Sweet, 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 sweet synchronization. 
Ah, uh, the euphoria of synchronization. Oh, hello there. My name is Sinclair. I'm quite the outstanding researcher, you know. Would you like to help me out by participating in an amazing Would you like to help me out by participating in an amazing experiment I'm working on? And I said no. No, but you'd bear witness to the greatest discovery of the century. So uh, I'll say yes to her later, but uh, I had to take a picture of a swimming Pokemon. I caught Bellossom. Got a shiny Saviper. I thought that was just the night sky reflecting on it weird. But uh, no, that's a bona fide shiny. Uh, then I got a shiny Sawsbuck like five minutes later. I did not. That was like, I, I saw it and I'm just like, is that a shiny? It looks a little different, but I couldn't tell. So I, I encountered it and it was. Uh, I don't know why I took this screenshot. Where, where did I get this screenshot? Oh, probably because of the Safari Ball uh, thing. Special Pokeball using locales such as the Safari Zone in the Kanto region, the Great Marsh in the Sinnoh region. Uh, I talked to um, Cyrano here, and he judges your Pokedex in this expansion. Oh, hey there, Michael. What brings you back up here? I just wanted to chat. To chat with me? Well, well, aren't I the popular one? By the way, how's your... Shit. By the way, how's that blueberry Pokedex of yours coming along? Come show me once you've filled it a bit. And definitely come show me if you complete it. I'll be sure to shower you with praise. One letter off from Cyrano. Cyrano. I got a... Sh For some reason, I went back to Area Zero. I don't know why, but I found a shiny Glamora, like, right away. And then almost immediately after, I found a shiny Gibble. So I was like, okay, cool. Uh, I got a Galarian Dug Trio. I got a Grand Bull. Uh, I don't know what... The oh, no, that's for something I was trying out that didn't work out. I did not... This is actually from something I did not save. Anyway, I don't need any of this shit. Shiny kibble, yeah. I am running out of uh, SD card space. Only 65 gigs left the, uh, out of 500. Granted, that I got this like six. I got this like three years ago, over almost four years ago. So the fact that I still have space on it is pretty cool. So anyway, that's where we are right now. Uh, anything else of note here? Um, this torchlit labyrinth. There's a cave system in this mountain. Uh, it's nothing special. It's just a cave system. I, there's trainers in it, so I will eventually go back into it. Um, I have not fought any trainers. I was saving that specifically for the stream, just because I know that the battles are all going to be, like, the, the main hook here. So, yeah, that's where we are. Uh, the TM making machine is right here in the central plaza. And, uh, yeah, we'll go talk to Carmine now. Uh, after I see if my team's good. By the way, Ogre Pond... Be happy to know she has been carrying my playthrough here. She is doing so well in this expansion. Let me uh, up the volume a tiny bit here. It's actually pretty low. Well, the music's also nighttime, that's why. So yeah, things are a bit rough right now. I couldn't agree more. Ah, you have a visitor, Carmine. Long time no see, Michael. I bet you missed me, huh? No. Yes. <laughs> Honesty is the best policy, eh? Time for me to go. Nice seeing you, Carmine. So long. Ah, okay. See you around. That's one of my classmates. She's an interesting one. Hmm, speaking of classmates, it feels kind of weird seeing you here at my school. And look at you. You haven't changed at all since we last met. I mean, that was only like three months ago. As for me, I've been helping Miss Briar with her research. I've been in all sorts of different regions. It's made my Pokemon a lot stronger than they were the last time they battled. <laughs> you want to see? Oh, you totally want to see. Yeah, I want to see. 
Well, we have a battle court right here, so get in a position. Okay, ready for a double battle? You won't know it hit you. I'll give you a special treat since you came all this way. Get ready to eat terrarium dirt. Oh, hey, Ogre Pond. Oh, you must have really missed me, huh? Yeah, uh, she and Kieran have reactions if, uh, if you use Ogre Pond. I think you could change the camera in this. Tightening its focus, so it started heating up its beat, right. Hey, stop that! Why don't you use one of those not very effective moves sometimes? And the volume's like... low. There we go. Now it's a bit better. Alright. No! Everything's gonna intimidate! Use a not very effective move that inflicts freeze, yeah. <laughs> Ledge is not now 82 as well. I've not used it. Uh, I've not used any of the other Pokemon on my team. <laughs> also because I haven't battled. Wait, why does it say low kick is super effective? How would I know it's super effective against Scrafty if I've never fought one before? That's it. I'm ready to go all out. <laughs> Time for me to tear it up. Magic. <laughs> it's just an unintentional bug. Oh, you just made yourself double weak. Oh, wait, no. Plant grass is what it already is. I was going to say. Ah, man, how am I? I'm alright. Been better, but... I don't know if I can rename that, uh, Sarah Ledge. I don't think I can.
Ooh. Oh, this might be enough. Nice. That did not go the way I had planned. Wait, are any of them holding items? I better uh, take care of that. Uh, I got so much stronger once I could terrestrialize my Pokemon, but you just had to go and get even stronger, didn't you? You still don't hold back in battles, huh? Another thing that hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> She's so angry. Hey, by the way, have you uh, run into Kiki yet? No, I haven't. Oh, never mind. If you haven't seen him, it's fine. Are you kidding me? What, was this assignment too hard for you too? Wait, that's... He's back and he's jerky now. I knew it. That's Kieran. Oh, he almost saw us. That's Kieran? He looks different. Shh, keep your voice down. I thought I told you to train five Pokemon to battle with. Sorry, things have been really hectic at home this month. Oh, got it. So that means you're okay with just being this weak forever? Is that what I'm hearing? No, I... Well, since you're so busy, I'll go ahead and do you a favor. I'll write your resignation from the club for you. I don't need people in my club who don't take it seriously. He's bootleg Gladion now. No, I think he's worse than Gladion. Oh, wait, Kieran, I'm sorry. Give me another chance. Not what you were expecting, right? Kiki looks different, acts different. He hasn't been the same since we got back from that school trip. Well, that was painful to watch. Uh. If it isn't Carmine, and Carmine's new mystery friend. I think I might have heard of you, though. Are you that new kid with the wild backstory? What a lovely surprise. Just the annoying bozo I didn't want to run into. Come on now, at least introduce me. That shirt is a huge my face one. Oh, the... The... The, uh... Is that Mabo Stiff? Or is that the first form? This is Drayton, and he's the worst. He was the strongest trainer at the Blueberry... He's the strong... Blah, blah, blah. He's the strongest trainer at Blueberry Academy. Well, he was, at least. Beautiful intro. Thanks. This is Michael. He's here on a foreign exchange program. He's my friend, and... What about Kieran? You friends with the guy? Uh, yeah, we're friends. Oh, ho, ho, I see. That's great. All right, Michael. How about I show you our, cl our club room? Who could this be related to? Oh, I didn't think of that, but yeah. He's probably uh, related to... What's his name? Is it... Wait. What's his name? Oh, oh yeah, Drayden. Yeah. I'm guessing, yeah, he's Drayden's son, probably. Huh, why do you need to do that? You haven't joined the clubs we got here yet, right? Take it from me, you'll have a way better time here if you join one. We'd love to have such an interesting new member. In fact, we all better call Dibs now. Come with me. Hey, hold on. God, see, I told you he's the worst. Look at him, just assuming we'll go along with whatever. I'm going with you. Uh, 
And here we are. And here we are. Hey, you sure this is a good idea? You know, cuz... Cuz of Kieran? Ah, don't worry. He won't show up here anytime soon. Me? Carmine. If you say so. Anyway, this is the base of operations for the League Club. On behalf of the whole club, glad you're here. What's this League Club? <laughs> glad you asked. We Blueberry Academy students have our own Pokemon battle ranking system. The BB League. Here in the League Club, we battle each other to train up so we can climb the ranks. We win, we lose, we have a good old rowdy time. Such as our humble club in a nutshell. You're not wrong, but seriously, that's how you explain it to new people? Yep, though I guess we're having less of a good old rowdy time than usual lately. I'm a member of the club too. I don't show up to the club room very much though. Just FYI, the top four Pokemon trainers in the BB League are called the BB League Elite Four. And this annoying toothpaste-haired bozo is one of them. So is that girl you saw with me at the terrarium earlier. Too bad you didn't make the cut, Carmine. I've just been too busy with extracurricular stuff. I haven't had time for league matches. If we're talking actual skill, I'm way above any of the Elite Four. <laughs> That's no lie. What you think, Michael? Fun club, huh? Yeah, sure. Oh, I could feel the enthusiasm. That's what I'm talking about. Anyway, I think that takes care of it. You're in, on a trial basis. Huh? What do you mean, trial basis? You hear me? As far as Draster's as far as the Draster's concerned, we're clubmates now. Trial basis clubmates. So now you can use this club room freely and do whatever with the stuff here. Check out the computer over there too. It's super helpful. Let's use BP to support kids in the other clubs. They return the favor in different ways. Using the PC in the club room, you can help to support the efforts of other clubs by donating BP to them. In return to reap all kinds of rewards such as new functions for your camera app or new ways to redecorate the club room. Here, give it a shot, and you'll see what I mean. Receive 200 Bippus from, from Drayton. Try sending that to Mitch in the baseball club. He can help you out with your throwing form. That's a weird, uh... Notes about the battle court positions are scribbled all over the whiteboard. Why is it, why does it matter where you stand? It says League Club. Check out that brushwork. That does not look like any language I know, except maybe fake Japanese. Bunch of training equipment that even Pokemon can use. League members clocker, lockers. Let's not go through them. One of them has an HP memory in them, though. You know, that's how it always is. Gotta find the open one. What a cute tea set. Maybe one of the club members really likes tea? Some nutritious handmade food, a note that reads, help yourself. League, Le League Club rep records are neatly written out here. Half-eaten snacks are scattered around. Aw oh, man, Professor Elm would like those. I always think about him just being a junk food addict because of the candy bar wrapper that's in his uh, trash can in gold and silver. Shelves are lined with items for Pokemon. Pikachu and I are doing our best to fight our way up through the BB League. They're doodles of some Pokemon. They've got a lot of character. Use a computer to help Mitch out with some BP. Just give it a shot and you'll see what I mean. Looks like Drayton's set on you doing this. Just play along, okay? I love the windows here. They're really good. My Tyrogue loves this treadmill. It's the League Club's computer. What do you want to do? Contribute Beepus. Pitch some cool throwing styles. 150 BP. I'm developing a new throwing style. Want cool new ways to throw Pokeballs? Let's spitball together and return your little contribution to the club, club's finances. It's following new styles will become available. Smug and elegant. Thanks for the support, Michael! 
Wish we could do it in person, but let's try pitching some ideas for new ways to throw. See, I was thinking like, hold, I could hold my hand like this, get me? Then I swing my leg and... Yeah! You know what? Yeah, you know what? I think that'll work. Talking through this with you really helped. Come up with a real home run here. You don't want to change how you throw your Pokeballs. Just give me another call. You have more throwing styles to choose from. Brisket points, yeah. Beepus. Beepus points. Oh, wow, you did it. Not bad for your first time. That'll teach me to doubt your skills. Here, I've got a really nice present for you. From one charming catch to another. Obtain the catching charm. Having one of these mysterious, unshakable charms that can more likely you'll get a critical catch. Cool. Finally. And you can have this, too. Put it on, you'll look just like the Drayster. League club uniform from Drayton. Nice. Anyway, feel free to computer it, up, computer it up any way you want. Like I said, we're trial basis club mates now. And that's not all. For a limited time, you can have as many of these snacks as you want. Those snacks are all yours, Drayton. Snacks you leave around opened and half-finished. I wouldn't go near any of them. Who knows how long they've been sitting around. All that explaining left me starving. I think I'm going to go head on over to the cafeteria. If you want to officially join us, maybe we can have a cafeteria date to talk details. A what? Be seeing ya. Ah, oh, that bozo. Seriously, what is his problem? And a cafeteria date? What does he even mean by that? Well, a date is... No, I know what a date is. Were you seriously about to explain it to me? Oh, sorry, being in here puts me on edge. Let's go somewhere else. Someplace people won't bother us. I know, let's go to your room. Yeah, but then I'm, I'm gonna bother you. Oh, 3,000 BP to do this. New Pokemon species will appear in each of the biomes. I like to increase the kinds of Pokemon students can encounter in the name biome. We need lots of BP to fine-tune the environmental settings. Please donate to our cause. Okay. Need a smart speaker? Get a smart speaker for the club room. Hey, your music club here. There's nobody in this world who doesn't love music, right? So how about trading some of your BP for one of our special smart speakers? Change the look of the club room. New designs for redecorating. Following new effects will become available. What? Change your current throwing style for 10 BP. Thanks for all the support, Michael. What style are you interested in today? Alright, now that I'm here, just you just watch. First you gotta have your ball like this, see? Then you get a good firm grip on it, and... Yeah! Switch to throwing your Pokeballs using the smug style. Wish you could see them before you try, you change, you commit. Call me up again if you want to change styles. See you around. Following effects will become available. Pokedex focus lines to Rastalize keepsake. Hey everybody, do you take lots of photos? If so, you've got a new camera app feature you'll love. You want to try using effects, then we're waiting for you and your BP. ISO. Thank you, Michael. This is Iso from the Photography Club. So the special effects we developed for the Photography Club. Right. You can decorate your photos even before you finish taking them. I'll send you all the files you need alongside a user's guide. Yeah, the following effects of your photos. Kokodex Focus Lines to Slice Keepsake. Select different effects by pressing the plus button while using the camera app. You're going to see a preview of the effect while you line up your shot. Cool. You know where your room is? Just wander around, you'll find it eventually. <laughs> your door room, a nice spare space of your own away from home. Where's the effect? Oh, plus.
Oh, cool. Keepsake. Oh, that's neat. It's the the lead, like the badge p image. Pokedex. Okay, it adds the Pokedex border. I was gonna add like the like a Game Boy Pokedex border. Terrestrialized. That's cool. That grin. Not a fan of that. Second floor of the yellow area. Wow, it looks just like the dorm from the other place, except I got a cool window now. Well, it looks like this is your room. Most BB students live in the dorms, you know. So what do you think? How's it compared to the dorm rooms back at your school? So blue. So new. About the same. Well, we're at Blueberry Academy. Of course it's blue. You can come have a look at my room later, too, if you want. No, thank you. I'm good. Oh, but I got distracted. There's something I need to tell you. It's about Drayton and, well, Kiki. About Kieran. Kiki is, well, you saw how he is. He's scaring me nowadays. Ever since we got back from Kitakami, it's like he's become a totally different person. He's been battling and training every day. He's even cutting back on sleep. He's... He's definitely gotten stronger. Drayton used to be the strongest student here, but Kiki beat him. Now Kiki's the president of the League Club and the BB League champion. I guess he must be pretty busy. He barely talks to me anymore. Oh well, he's probably just going through a rebellious phase. Kieran's changed, but you? You've stayed the same. If Kieran's down to just one friend these days, I'm glad it's you. Keep sticking with him, would you? No. God, how much of a douche would I be if I picked that? Thank you. And there's one more thing I need to tell you about. About Drayton? Ugh, Drayton, don't trust that knucklehead. He might seem like a slacker, but don't let him fool you. He's up to something. He's a real annoying super jerk. He barely even goes to class. He's had to repeat the same year three times. Point is, don't let your guard down around him, ever. You're going on a date. I mean, you're going to hang out with Drayton later, right? I'd go with, but if I don't finish up this report today, I'm really going to be in trouble. I'd love for you to go join the League Club. But if Drayton gives you any trouble, don't be afraid to give him a good sucker punch. Yeah. You Ogre Pond and the rest of your party feel energized. That's a study that's made of scratch-resistant material. Kitchenettes in the Blueberry Academy dorm show a refined color palette. It's door to your bathroom. The smell of hand soap wafts from inside. Room where the League Club uses as a base. You could use the computer here to support other clubs by sending them BP. Hey, Michael. No need to stand there. Grab a seat. Here's the Drayster take. The Academy Special is the best thing on the menu. It's all so soft you could basically just gulp it down. Barely even need to chew. <laughs> wow, that sounds tasty. Chew your food, Drayton. <laughs> you and my mom will get along. So listen, your Pokemon are pretty strong, yeah? With a team like that, you've got a shot at becoming the BB League champion. Wouldn't that be wild? An exchange student just rolling up in here and snatching the crown? Yeah, I've heard it happen in Alola before. Twice. I want to see you join the BB League, Michael. You in? 
Sure, I'll... I don't know. Look who's decided to grace us with their presence. Whoa, it's the champion. And the rest of the Elite Four, too. What did you want to talk to me about? Nothing special. Just thought we could grab a bite. Where better to do that than the cafeteria? What a waste of time. You got so much time to goof off. Why don't you go train your Pokemon? You think maybe this is why you always lose to me? I'll take that as a no. So I can't swing a lunch date with you, even if it's got your old pal with me? <laughs> that smile I made. I, the, with the glasses on, it's just so great. Huh? Michael? And you look different. Wh why? You didn't hear that he was coming to study abroad here? For real? Yes, it's true. Director Cyrano himself introduced me to him when we met at the school's entrance. We're already tied, us two. In fact, I was just asking Michael to join the BB League. Oh, I like it. That'd be fire. What? A student from another school joining the BB League. Unprecedented. Th that's right. Michael may be wonderfully capable in battle, but that doesn't mean he belongs in the BB League. Aw, oh, come on. Did you hate all fun and friendships or something? You want to exclude someone who's taking our same classes and living in our same dorms? How's he not one of us? And this place isn't supposed to be all about students having autonomy. I think we should vote on it. I'm a yes, obviously. How about you, Lacey? I'm sorry, but considering the rules, it's a no from me. What about you, Crispin? Huh? Yeah, why not? He's at our school. That makes him a student like us, right? How about you, Amaris? What do you say? Oh, that was Crispin. Whoops. How about you, Ab Ab Amaris? What do you say? I abide by the rules of this institution. Proposition declined. Two against two, huh? Alright then, what says the reigning BB League champion, our mighty Kieran? Doesn't matter who I'm facing. I don't lose. Heh, <laughs> guess we've got our answer. Ah, uh, Kieran, wait! Drayton, manipulating people to get what you want, it's just not right. To be fair, how did he really manipulate us there? He made a compelling argument. And he just asked for everyone's opinion. Sorry, Michael. Guess you'll be joining the BB League, huh? Let's look on the bright side. Maybe you and Kieran will come out of this better friends. Don't worry, I'll be right behind you. Every step of the way. But now that the decision's been made, we better get you officially signed up. Maybe at the reception desk in the school's entrance area. Ba ba da ba dee bop. Join the Beepus League. Oh, I wanted the cool jacket, though. I don't get the jacket. <coughs> oh my god. Here, let's make a. Uh, let's let's make a uh, Kieran's day, really shit. Actually, wait. Let me take that off real quick. Put better glasses on. Actually, I only have like three pairs. Ah, eh, fuck it. Keep the Diplin glasses on. Also, we're changing that case, because the poke etch case isn't that great. Pika V case. That's a... Uh, let's go. Oh, I like the... Uh, oh, that border's really cool. I like that. Carmine's dorm room. There are lots of decorations that fit her particular tastes. 
lollipop room. Oh, the air, the front area because of the the pathway to the train. Kitchen that doesn't look like it's used much for any cooking. Lots of chocolatey treats are lined up here. This plush dunce bar looks deeply relaxed. Ink painting is so full of life you can almost feel the ocean spray. It's Carmine's desk, so neat and organized. It's one of those scaled down figures of a Pokemon. Some interesting look at they're like Funko Pops almost. Of of Gathita and is that Gallade or Gardevoir and Makuhita? And then down here you have uh, Impidimp. And there's shots of is that that looks like her and her mother. That doesn't look like Kieran in those photos. Cool. Curlia, ah. Uh. There you are. This is where we can get you all signed up for the BB League. How can I help you today? <laughs> Never mind, I'm good. I want to join the BB League. Ah, it says here that you're an exchange student, which means you're not technically enrolled here at our academy. Oh, don't mind that. We Elite Four talked it over real quick. My friend here is good to join. I don't mean to sound rude, but I'm not sure if I draw. I'm not. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not sure if I could take what you say at face value, Drayton. No, he's telling the truth. I'm allowing Michael to join the BB League. Yes, champion. One moment, please. It must be... It's wild. D d imagine going to a school, becoming the top fighter in the Pokemon League. And then, uh... Immediately having full say of what goes on at the Academy, like Kieran does. What the hell did he do? Um, if you missed it, Drayton got held back three years, apparently. According to Carmine, he, he he's, uh... He's repeated the same grade three times at this point. Didn't expect you to ride up in shining armor and save the day. I got a feeling you're trying to play Puppet Master. But if I get a shot at battling Michael, then that's fine with me. <laughs> that's just peachy. Michael. You better not go losing to anyone until our battle. Like I'd lose. Good. I'm not a little kid anymore, and you'll know it when I show you how to bat the best of the best battle. Huh. Kiki, you shouldn't talk to Michael like that. Shut it, sis. Looking forward to seeing you climb the ranks. I'm sorry, Michael. Kiki was really acting out, wasn't he? It's my first time take talking to him in a while, too. Man, such an attitude. Well, he's Mr. Big Deal Mighty Champion, after all. Drayton, you're the one who dragged Michael into all this BB League drama, aren't you? Me? No way! This was all his idea. Right, Michael? H yes. No. No doubt about it? Hear that, Carmine? He's hungry for action. I don't know. I think something fishy's going on. But well, if we're gonna do this, you might as well do your best. I'll be cheering for you. And please, keep an eye on Kiki for me. Thank you for waiting. Your entry into the BB League is complete. Great timing. Michael's cleared up to compete in the BB League. Usually you'd start by battling regular students and climbing the ranks. But seeing how you've got recommendations from several Elite Four members and Director Cyrano, you'll start from a higher rank. You'll skip straight to challenging the Elite Four at their respective bases in the Terrarium. Once you clear their trials, that is. I'll go ahead and mark their locations in your Rotom phone now. Well, I've already got two of the spots unlocked, so... Lacey, Crispin, Amaris, Drayton. So, Fairy, Dragon... Uh, Rock... Ronk... Uh, sorry, that's is that that's steel and fire. Okay, so each of the BB League Elite Four have been added to your map app. Lacey's fairy type? She was using Plusle Min and Excadrill before. 
Eh, whatever. To challenge the Elite Four, you'll need BP, which you can earn by doing BBQs. That's right, this is a grindy story. Then if you defeat all the members of the Elite Four, you could challenge the champion. Alright then, best of luck in the BB League. You can start with whichever one of us you want. Your call. Anytime you want to battle one of us, you'll have to do a fun little trial we cooked up first. Sounds good, right? Catch you in the terrarium, bud. Big brisket league, yeah. Big booby league. Hey there, Michael. Looks like you've caught 123 species of Pokemon in the terrarium. You're starting to make some headway, I see. Don't be afraid to explore all the terrarium's biomes. Each one's unique from the others. Ho <laughs> ho! The fact that everything costs BB, Beepus, and you don't get that much from doing these quests. It's really grindy. <gasps> oh, it's a mag mortar, actually. I might want to, uh... I might want to do that, just because getting Magmortar and Electri Electrovere uh, isn't going to be easy, unless they show up on the map somewhere. Photo of a wild Pokemon that's swimming. Okay. Catch one electric type Pokemon. Well, that's not happened just yet. How many stars is this? Five? Uh, I might have to uh, pick a stronger water type for this. Also, I'm gonna have to. Connect, I'm probably gonna have to do this multiplayer. Fire and rock. Okay, so he's double weak to water. That's good. Well, it's loading. Let me get a drink. So who's ready for Crimbus? Or whichever holiday you celebrate, if it's still going on. Enix has been kind of vocal about the new mana game coming out. They're releasing like little tidbits every day on the mana Twitter account. <coughs> um, looks like it'll be fun. Why is no one wanting to join here? Okay, we got Ha. Ha? Huh? 
Jonathan, where's Charlotte? I have a leftover uh, spicy meat stick from yesterday. I'm dying to squirt. <coughs> yeah, a little spicy. I've been watching. Uh, so, so I was, you know, I was talking about Mar. I was talking about Mario. I was talking about a uh, Yu Hakusho show earlier. Um, I've also been watching another new show that came out, Carol and the End of the World. Uh, it is very bleak it's it's not bad it's depressing though and it's like i don't know it's it's kind of weird to watch it i'm definitely i have two more episodes of it to go and i'm gonna have to give my thoughts on that when it's done came in at, literally at the very end to be honest i told you most of this off stream already so it's not really it's not really you didn't really miss much um Overall, I'm gonna say it's good. If you have if you have five hours to burn, watch it. If you don't, that's fine. It doesn't take away anything from from Yu Hakusho. I'll say that. It doesn't necessarily add anything, but it doesn't take anything away either. Oh my god, that mask looks crusty up close. Digimon's an Agumon now, nice. Don't forget to do training and stuff. Do you have Rain Dance? No, I don't. They're gonna power all, all these Japanese people are just gonna power through this. Actually, no, Jonathan's not presumably not Japanese. Had Wendy's today, oh nice. I also used heal up, but you know what? Probably the probably for a good chance a reason. Now the rest of the team is uh The rest of the team's all green as well. Pepper and Frosty was good, but hard to beat a chocolate one. My Wendy's never gets anything but the, but like the vanilla. Vanilla, sometimes the chocolate. I don't know if we have the special ones. I'll have to see. One. Chocolate malty tasting on a word it. Ooh, I like malt. Uh I guess Ultra Ball is kind of our best bet here. And he get knocked out, that's good, at least.
quiet mint. I guess you don't get- everyone said you get Herba Mystica starting at level 5, but I've never gotten one from a level 5 encounter. I think they're only 6 and 7 stars. Alright, cool. Well, I got that at least now. That's one less uh, trade over I have to make over later. When shooting 3600 degree Fahrenheit fireballs from its arms, its body takes on a whitish hue from the intense heat. Oh, it was a steel type. Oh, I, I misread it again. Anyway, I put that in unique terror type too. Actually, I might have to trade this Geodude. Oh, you know, I have another one right here. There's a person who wants a Geodude. An, an Alolan Geodude. I don't, I don't remember what they want for it, though. Or what they want to give for it. Actually, also, to be safe, I'm going to disconnect from the internet, because I feel like that puts extra strain on the console. Or on the game, rather, while I'm trying to play it. You can find electric type. Make myself a TM. Okay. Think you're good at double battles? Why don't you test that theory by battling me? Wow. is so good. You don't have to tell me twice. You're an ace at double battles. None of these Pokemon are holding anything, are they? No, they aren't. Except for uh, Ogre Pond, obviously. Um, Alright, my catching charm. So I get better critical captures now, which is good. Uh, let's see. Meowskarada, when will I have, when will I have uh, them hold? Critical hit ratio, no Miracle Seed. Uh, well, there's a Miracle Seed. Yeah, but that, oh, Meowskarada only has one Grass-type move. And I'm not using it that often. Also, the Grass-type move it uses is always a critical hit. So scope lens wouldn't be that great on it. Hmm. This offensive vest boosts the holder's special defense stat, but prevents the use of status moves. Has to protect the holder from events effects triggered by making direct contact with another Pokemon. Effects of rain and harsh sunlight. 
Softest. Ah, oh, yes, the item you put on your Gudra. <laughs> I can be held by a Pokemon. So the dice always rolls a good number. One can ensure that the holder's multi-strike moves hit more times. Slash, play, rough, flower, trick, night, sl Yeah, boosting one type of move isn't that great. On the other hand, Palafin might, might benefit from the uh, water... Yeah, the Mystic Water. Quick Claw is always a good move. What was the accuracy of the opposing Pokemon's moves? We'll give that to, uh, Yaskarada. the power of the holder's punching moves that prevents direct contact with the target's punching moves. Eh. Let's get that Fang to, uh, him. Honestly, I, m I might take King Gambit off the team. As cool as King Gambit is... Uh, its attack is pretty good, actually. But Sarah Ledge is just way better. Yeah, I think, um, I think King Gambit might be what I take out. Skeledurge is literally just here as, like, the backup if I really need him. Sweetie ripping booty. <laughs> yeah, he's out. All he does is sit down anyway. Cool concept, I just, I don't know. I don't feel like doing my homework. I really don't want to do my homework, so I ended up coming here to the terrarium. Michael. Hey, it's me. I would totally do something like that, too. I hated doing homework. Getting beat up by you doesn't make me want to go deal with my homework. With eight, write 800 word summarizing Pokemon abilities and advantages they can offer in battle? Who wants to do a thing like that?
I hate when the lighting gets like this, because then you can't tell what's a shiny and what's not. And I get, like, paranoid. Oh, there's an item I missed over here. Pokemon swing, make a TM. Okay. Uh, game? Know what's up ahead? Coastal biome lies on the other side of this wall here. Ready for a nice beach vacay? Haha. <laughs> Kev. Kevin! None of these moves are all that great. Oh, that's bug. Ooh. I love the uh I love the texturing on Caesar. It's uh it's it's shiny texturing. Not shiny Pokemon, but like it's actual like shiny metallic exterior is really nice looking. I think I could use a cool dip after that burn you just gave me. Coastal biome is so sunny and relaxing, and the scenery... Boy, do I ever love the scenery. Rufflet look like? Huh? Oh, that's weird. shouldn't pick up items in the water. They're always just feathers that I never use. Give your Pokemon a nice washing. What? 
You can't do that in this game. Oh, wait, yes you can. At Picnic. Alright, well, we're making a Sammy. Cool. Alright, I know I can't set up a Picnic while we're in the Pokemon douche. Pokemon missing here. Oh, Meowskarat is knocked out, that's why. That's an okay tablecloth. What's the peach one look like? Oh, it's just a color. Monstrous tablecloth. Yeah, that's cool. My water bottle. I'm gonna put down a di diamond bottle. Cool. My cup. Fire pattern, baby. Oh, that's the one I'm already using. My chairs. Mint. Mint chairs. Ultra sushi sandwich. Sushi sandwich. Great sushi sandwich. Tower sandwich. Tofu sandwich. You know what? I'm not going for anything specific in terms of... Oh, wait. Damn it. We're gonna do a fun sandwich. We're gonna do a wacky sandwich. Just gonna go... <laughs> Super spicy. I'm not putting the spicy Herba Mystica in there, though. Sugar-free sandwich? No, this is called the blow-out-your-ass sandwich. No! I forgot if you drop it, it's just, it just fades away. Anyway. I put some jalapeno on it. 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 A little more jalapeno. No, fuck. That one's gone. Oh, no, it's still there. Nope, never mind, it's gone. And that one's gonna go to. Nope, okay. More jalapeno. It's just some more jalapeno. Just put a whole pepper on here. Okay. Incredible. This sandwich is, is gonna be the best sandwich ever made. Just eat it and instantly your mouth explodes. I put curry powder, horseradish, two things of wasabi, and and six helpings of jalapeno on it.
Oh, wow. We fucking hated that. Oh, that was great. A tasty Michael original. Saving that. Yeah, we fucking, we fucking hated that. Also, Miascarada is back, back to normal now. I forgot you could just do that. Why is this, uh... Why is Blossom just floating here? That was weird. Didn't see me. Gamut wants to learn guillotine. Ooh, that's a pretty good move if it could uh if it could hit. What what is the uh What's like the rule with guillotine and hitting? It's, it's speed based, right? Indoor sea. There's a sea here inside the terrarium's dome. It's the same as the sea outside, though. Max. Looks like a max. Can't use two of the same Pokemon, that's not tournament legal. Level based, okay. Look at that Esper back there, just like staring at us. Your strength is vast, as vast and immeasurable as the sea itself. Okay, nerd. Thank you for your lunch money. Make a TM. I need to catch an electric type Pokemon. That mission's been there for a while. It's a good electric type to catch. Hey there, Michael. It's me, Cyrano. Seems like you're really digging into those BBQs. Gotta see that you start receiving advanced quests. I think you've earned it. Don't worry, I'm pretty sure you can handle them. Good luck. I'll see you around. Take a photo of a wild Pokemon in flight. I don't know where a Pokemon in flight is. America. Yeah, I haven't seen one flying. I've only seen those things walking. So far, you defeated one student here in the Coastal Dome. See me once you've defeated five. There are like two or three inside the mountain. If I'm not mistaken. Also one right there. And one right there. No thoughts, just vibes. I'm just vibing. You? She's about to give us a vibe check. If she says that after I beat her, I'm going to throw this game in the garbage. Alyssa. Escarada.
Oh, I'm gonna have to go right back and heal after this, huh? Alright. Why not? King Gambit, let's see what you can do here. Here takes revenge for Fina. The move support powers boost if an ally fainted in the previous turn. You managed to keep your focus. When you're all worn out, vibing is where it's at. Everyone's got to empty their heads sometimes. Okay. Do not mention the vibe check. This game is safe. I was going to pick up my switch and just throw it out the window. Head empty. No thoughts. Alolan forms! I'm raising a Alolan form Pokemon, look! Leo the student. Oh, actually, I shouldn't give uh, Jotaro an item, because Acrobatics is a good flying move. Is it cold there? Yeah, it's pretty cold right now. It's, uh, it's how cold is it today? It was kind of brisk earlier, but I know it went down a bit. Uh, currently, it is 30 degrees here. Low of 27. Oh, my Steam Year interview finally came in. Damn. Took forever. Just say drink the hot chocolate. Yeah, maybe later. Turn's still going on. Oh, he's got three Pokemon. Throws out. This music gives you life? Yes, it does. Floating near, then the music plays. <laughs> I wonder if, it's, if we're near Cynthia's beach house. No, I think we're in the... Did you get a good look? Those are Alolan forms, alright. 
I think we're down in the bottom left of the map. You haven't caught a Pokemon yourself. You could check out some of their details in your Pokedex if you battle them at least once. I feel like we're at... Okay, let me, uh... Heal up. And while I'm doing that... Oh my god, I got the- I forgot about the frozen over uh, Unova map, which is really stupid looking. It's not even really frozen over, they just put an overlay on it. I think... that we... are somewhere down here, in the bottom corner. I don't know if you can see my cur mouse cursor. But down here, this is where I think we are. Not in this area, but like, lower. I don't think we're all the way over here. I mean, maybe we are. I don't think we're actually in the Unova map. I believe that we are, like, off the coast of Unova somewhere. So either down or to the right, but most likely down, I'm, I'm guessing. Close enough that it still could be reachable by train, though. So if I had to guess, it's probably over here. Because the train line in Unova goes from, like, here to here. It, go it, like, covers this area. So if I had to imagine, the train line would probably go from here downwards. I can't imagine the train line goes over here. That's- that's my theory, at least. There's a slacking, like, right there. Let's play to some big projects since then. I mean, you never know. It's been years. Canonically. I said I wanted this to be a tight experience, and I'm just fucking around, fighting people. Never find end at this rate. <laughs> Ever since I entered this school, I've been dedicating myself wholeheartedly to training bird Pokemon. Okay, cool. Annie, are you okay? Was that what? Did I miss a shiny? I'd be upset if I did. Type is Masquerada. No shiny, okay. Oh, it's Grass Dark. Alright, I thought it was Grass Fighting for some reason. Beak's eaten. It's gonna hurt. Ow. that in the commute too, I can now see why that it was big. Wait, what? What are you listening to? Was it Suavamente? No, Chirpy, Peeper. Wow, an NPC that names her Pokemon. As long as bird Pokemon stay safely aloft, ground type moves don't hit him. Whoa. Nah, that's for parties. <laughs> S 
Smooth Criminal in another song. Oh. I completely forget the jokes right after I make them. That's why I didn't realize what you were talking about. I'm like, I have a memory of a goldfish. What was I just talking about? Uh, actually, why did I come here? I came here to do something. Something in the music that sounded like... Oh, oh, you mean the uh, the Terrarium music? The Terrarium music, so if you listen closely, there's part of the Route 6 theme from Black and White in it. There's also part of the Area Zero theme in it. And I think there's part of the, uh, the Opa Lucid City theme, too, in it. Didn't work. That's weird. Thought the thought the secret here was like spin right around spin around ten seconds. Maybe I did something wrong. Oh, right here. I was standing in the wrong spot. So there's a swirly thing of uh, wind here.
Really pretty? Yeah, it was. Oh my god, that pose. Fan of Gen 5 minutes that hit song that hit good, yeah it does. But yeah, that's the secret, and it's so con it's super convoluted. So you have to spin you have to find that thing, spin in place for 10 seconds, pull out the camera. Switch to the sepia tone and then play music, and Mayoletta, Melioetta cuts in, and then you can you could talk to it to fight it. Um, they mention the, the characters in the game mention spinning around in that spot, but they don't mention what else to do. And the sepia tone thing is a reference to a very like one-off statement that a guy in black and white says when you show him uh, Melioetta. Anyone else figure that out in the first place? They just eventually put two and two together. Okay, one more low kick. Gotta figure out what to do here. I don't know how many turns have passed. At 10 turns, the timer ball hits max uh, effectiveness. That's three of those. I used at least two Dusk Balls, so that's five. I used Low Kick like three or four times. And I use a Quick Ball, so this thing should be at turn 10 now. Let's do that or use a Master Ball, which I have two of now, so... Oh, yo. Eh? Yeah! It's not in the Pokedex. Normal Psychic and has Fighting Type, uh... Well, it, I think it becomes Fighting Type in the, uh, other form. Fighting type, uh, Terra type. That's pretty good. Best, best, best. Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. Serene Grace, yeah. Raises the likelihood of additional effects occurring when the Pokemon uses its moves.
Well, I'll put that in the, uh... I'm gonna need another box for all this. Especially when I start getting the legendaries later. Alright, Ursa Luna's in here. What you like in this version? Um, no, I don't think so. This this is primary version, so ho ho, crowd on. Xerneas. The only time I've ever picked the secondary version was uh, Y, because I like the Velto better. All right, well that's done. Uh, what's next? TM, I need an electric type Pokemon. Where's, where's a good electric type that I could catch? Not Finian. Not in K. No Reshiram? Oh, I think Reshiram's in this. I'm not sure, though. Tentacool? No, oh, thank you. Sawsbuck down here. I don't know. The getting the legendaries happens later. What you have to do is you have to unlock them individually, and then they show up somewhere on the map. If I'm not mistaken, that's like the, the, the special method in this game. And you need to grind points to get it to happen. The muck. Apparently, there's a minier that only spawns in this cave, like a color of minier. Beldum. I do technically need that. Hmm? Oh, my game was going to crash there. Oh, you like Mabo Stiff too? Okay, good to know. Hey, by the way, what's that? I remember you saying there's that one Nido Queen plush you really wanted, or Nido Arena plush, but I couldn't remember which one it was. You know, I actually have a Beast Ball Beldum in uh, Sun and Moon, which is really hard because Beldum has an insanely low capture rate. It's 
Actually, one of, one of the hardest catches you could possibly have. The Sitting Cuties one. Well, which one was it? Nidorina or Nidoqueen? Nido Queen, okay. Because I was looking for it the other day, and I'm like, I don't know which one she was talking about. Alright, well, I got a Beldum. That's good. Bell end of my... Never mind. Magnet force generated by its body repels the ground's natural magnetism, letting it float. Beep, beep. Wait, no. I'll keep that open. That freeze earlier was a little too close for comfort for me. Are there any electric Pokemon in the cave, maybe? I know there's at least two trainers in there. I'm part of the Elite Four! Wikipedia Berry. I'm part of the Elite Four, the part that shows up to challenge them, that is. No, you're a floating Pokeball. Pietro. Poor Miascarada, she's really not good at this, huh? My cool self-intro is all for nothing. Practicing my self-intro for when I become a full-fledged member of the Elite Four, see? Then you showed up. Now it's all ruined. There's like another trainer like right here. I've tried to capture a vile plume like three times because I'm too lazy to use a, a, a grass stone, and uh, I failed every single time. These bastards do not like being caught.
And dead. What the? Oh, I was like, what is that noise? That's a weird picky peck noise. Small. Nice, finally. I, was, I, I wish that it, it doesn't get affected by it, but I wish catching them off guard gave you a higher catch chance, too. That'd be really cool. That, that's how Legends Arceus does it. Bud bursts bloom with, into bloom with a bang, and then it starts scattering allergenic poisonous pollen. Missed my vile plume pencil sharpener. I had a Bulbasaur one, too, really. I have a set of stamps with the starter, with the Kanto starters, Kanto starters on it. I'm actually using it to prop up one of the uh, base stations for my, uh, my VR headset. Okay, so now the sun's going down here. Uh, actually, f apparently, the day-night cycle in this area is accurate to the time difference uh, between New York and Spain. So, like, if you go back to Paldea during this, it's 16 minutes later, or it's like it's like eight out, like a few hours later, but like 16 minutes on the in-day in-day clock. Uh, he just radiates coolness. Daria. Gloom and Doom. Oh, she has more than two. Cool. Why do I have slash too? That's pointless. Night shade, uh, night slash is the same thing. Just dark. Emo slash, yeah. Oh, he really is just the coolest. I like to talk to him before I graduate, but he's always on the move. Oh, you're so cool, Director Cyrano. I thought that Zangoose was watching us from, like, the tree. He was just sleeping, though. Why is there Smeargle here?
No, over here. Damn it. With the sparkly Pokemon at yeah. Oh, I know where one might be. First, let me heal and get my reward for beating five trainers. So far, you've defeated six students here in the coastal biome. Look at you being all proactive and finding other students to battle. Great job. Here's some BP for you. Reward for all that hard work. A hundred? That's nothing! Here's a little bonus for me. TM-206 Petal Blizzard, which I already had one of. If you go get yourself your more wins, I'll have another reward waiting for you here. Come see me again once you defeated ten. Okay, so they have more than one reward, unlike the, uh... Unlike the, the ones in the base game. I already have one of these. Yeah, I do. It's in the base game. Yeah, I, knew, I remember the Rotom was in here. It's weird how Rotom was like the creepy pasta Pokemon originally, and now it's like so commonplace. It, like it has to be in every game, just like Ditto and Pikachu. It has to be there, just because it's so you. It's so like integral to technology now. <laughs> Oh, and I got travel over 500 yards is the next one. Good. These have hold items. Nope, doesn't look like it. Still don't like the Rotom Everywhere thing. Please change. Well, it's funny because Rotoms can straight up talk to you. So it's like... Okay, so Pokemon are that intelligent. Take a photo of a wild Pokemon in flight. Make a TM travel over 500 yards. I'm not getting harder quests. Didn't the Aberline teach you that? Or what about the Murkrow in uh, the team rocket base? Catch a fighting type Pokemon. Okay, uh. Crab Brawlers on the beach. Huh. <gasps> oh, they're gonna fight. I guess not. That Smeargle just like a spawn, like a set spawn. I could have swore earlier I saw a Zangoose and a, and a Viper fight each other on the overworld. But uh, I must have been imagining things, I guess. All right, where's where's Punch Crab? I need a Punch Crab. <gasps> oh no! Shit! So 
I spilled some of my drink. Not too bad. Just a little bit, but... Thank God it was mostly empty. Pick up items on the ground ten times. Okay, easy shit. Yeah, actually, give me one second. I need to get, uh... Actually, wait a minute. I might have enough uh, paper here for this. It's fine. I got some of my uh, my Magatama bead, but it's fine. Ugh. As long as I don't stop recording, I should be okay. Get on that. Just got on the mouse cord a little bit. Ugh. Ugh. That was like one whole sip of that drink I could have had now. Now I need another one. Okay, it's all cleaned. But if I spill anything else, I'm going to need paper towel. Diabetes. <laughs> no. Iced tea's healthy for you. You don't get diabetes from iced tea. Don't take that as medical advice, by the way. That warning, this is a joke. I know it doesn't seem like that because I'm not funny, but... My brain, like, fucked off there for a second. I was like, what the... I looked at those those executor, and I was just like, what the fuck are those? Ass! Finally! Oh, nice! And immediately get another one I could do right now. <laughs> My pee is yellow, I need more water. Yep, I know that. Trust me. Trust me, I drink a lot of water. When I'm doing my auditions, I like chug several things of water, usually. <coughs> Enough. Soup packet. Oh yes. What about it? I know. What, I know what you're talking about. By the way, I, I know I didn't talk to you about like everything in the box yet. It's because I literally have just not had the time or energy to go through everything in there. I saw everything though, and thank you. Now I know why you were. Why now I know why you got weird when I mentioned Inuyasha the other day. When I was playing uh, Ace Attorney. Was I playing Ace Attorney during when I said Sip Boy, or was that? Yeah, I was. Something, something relating to Godot or something. I'm doing too much grinding on stream, which I don't want to do.
Make a sour sandwich. Okay, that one actually sounds interesting, so I'm gonna do that right now. And then, uh... And then I'll do an Elite Four member. Just follow the instructions on the packet, should be good to go. Okay. I'll save that for, uh... A day soon. See, the thing is, we're doing... Normally, I would say I'd, I'll save it for, like, Christmas Eve. Because Christmas Eve, uh... Usually my mom's too busy cooking for us to eat. So we'll, uh... I'll, like, order food out. But this year, we're not doing that. Because we're going somewhere else for Christmas. Which, by the way, I, I won't be here Monday night. I probably wasn't going to, uh... Be here Monday. I, I probably wasn't going to be here Christmas regardless, but... Uh, I definitely will not be here Christmas night. I will be here, I will try to be here Saturday, and I may be here Sunday as well. Actually, thinking about Sunday, thinking about Christmas Eve streams, because la two years ago, Christmas Eve is when I beat, uh, when I finished the B Blaster Master Zero trilogy. Remember that? The final stream of that being on, on, uh, Christmas Eve. And then I came back like three days later, and that's when I started Danganronpa. Aren't you that exchange student everyone's talking about? Can I trouble you for a battle? You grew up eating that soup. Oh, really? That brand, uh, Kanade, that brand, um, is the same brand that, uh, my mom buys to make the, uh, to make the, uh, the special rice that I've been eating the last few months. The seasoned rice. It's really good. Yeah, flower trick is always critical. Ah, I feel that Paldean spirit washing over me. You came from Paldea, right? I really hope to go there myself someday. Okay, dude, you're in my space. I love you, Flygon, but I already have one of you. I'm gonna make it with just the noodles, tomatoes, and the onion, but you would use the chicken bouillon to flavor it. Mmm. I actually... I don't have a shiny Flygon, but I have a shiny Trap Inch that I found full odds in Pokemon Sun in the desert area. I remember just randomly running into it. I was like, oh, shit. Make a TM, Terrastalize to defeat a wild Pokemon, really? Okay. Bullion is like one of the holy food items in Mexican cooking. Nice. What was that noise right there? That didn't sound normal. There's someone here that gives you something. I can't remember what it was.
Looks like my Terra Orb got charged, too. There we go. My crystal has been charged. It looks like each step is a yard. So much mud! Playing in the mud's the best, right? Hope you're ready to have your face right into it. Sarah the student. Don't tell your mother-in-law, though, she whines about unhealthy. This is the person who doesn't eat nutritionally well and whines about preserves and food. Lady, everything has some stuff. <laughs> yeah. I don't think preserves are naturally unhealthy. I think it's just that there's a large amount of unhealthy preserves out there. Crocodile! I love Crocodile. I have a fully trained Crocodile from Gen 5, but I don't think I ever used it in a team. Unless I used it in... I, no, I don't think I did. I think I raised it post-game in Black 2. Get the... This lady is the lady that whined about my culture's food. Yeah. I mean, I gotta say, and I'm not saying this just to, you know, gas my own, you know, gas my people up here, but saying 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 Italian food isn't isn't health isn't clean. That's a that's a ballsy thing to say. Oh, I ended up with mud on my face. Mudslap is a great move for dealing damage while also lowering your opponent's accuracy. It's strong and smart. Mud really is the best. You didn't get to use it, so... What do I know?
Fuck! How long was I silent? Oh my god. Was I muted for like five minutes? Why did I even do that? I probably had a burp, and I, n I don't remember now. Fuck, no one heard anything I just said. <laughs> like one to two minutes, okay. Uh, I said I needed a Scyther. Uh, I said, uh, why, why is Mudslap banned from tournaments? Because Ephraim brought that up. And then I mentioned, um, remember when we all found out about the, uh, the defense curl secret? And now all of a sudden that move is actually really good. And then I talked about, um... Oh, you're talking about the gumshoe pin, yeah, and I, I said that I, I like the Phoenix Wright pin you got me. The problem is I'm running out of space. Um, I'm running out of space for pins, so I don't know where I'm going to put it. And then I talked about how my beat pin, beat from Mega Man, like the little pin with the wings on it that I got. Um, one of the wings broke off when I was coming back from TFF, MFF, excuse me. TFF is the next con I'm going to. So I'm a little, uh, a little bummed. What happened with Defense Curl? Um, when it was discovered, because this thing wasn't, this wasn't widely known for a long time, but if you use Defense Curl, uh, Rollout, uh, does more damage. It doubles damage. So essentially you get two, you get one turn of double damage Rollout, which, to make up for not using it, and then you get the Defense Boost anyway. Really cool. Crispin of the Elite Four. You wanna know why Crispin is strong enough to be a member of the Elite Four? It's been a thing since Gen 2. Yeah, I know, but like, not everyone knew it. No one mentioned it. It doesn't get mentioned in the game at all. That's why Whitney was a monster to beat, yeah. Why don't you get one of those little pin banners? Well, the problem is I just don't have room for anything. Like, ever. I'm gonna command hook. I, I don't really have a place to put one in here. My room, my walls are pretty full. Part of me doesn't even want to bother too, because part of me just wants to move out. I'm not, like I'm not gonna lie, like I'm getting increasingly like sad that I still live here. But like if I do that, I lose a huge safety net. Why I don't quit my job? So normally for the expectation of moving at a certain age, not in my family. I don't think my mom has any expectations of me and my brother moving out at all. Why would we? It's just convenient not to. Because the thing is, the three of us living together with our incomes... And our, and our current cost of living allows us to live pretty comfortably. Like, not gonna lie, but we're pretty well... That's why I always say, like, I'm well off in terms of money. Rindoberry. My job doesn't pay amazingly, but because of the fact that we're living in, like, a very nice situation right now, even if we don't have the best house, it's still, um... Cleavor.
Common in the English world, but in my end, it's completely normal of a family unless you choose to move out or get married. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the situation I'm in. So yeah, spoilers, Cleavor is in this, uh, in this expansion, that's why I needed another site there. Oh, he's got a, he's got a, uh, life orb, doesn't he? Hey, Karma. Chief, the League Club. Youch, you're tough enough to take the bat heat of battling Crispin. So you can imagine the struggle I deal with as a your mixed cultural first gen. Yeah. Crispin uses fire type Pokemon, see, but he manages to cover their weakness as well, which is why he's so strong in battle. If you're not careful, he'll turn the tables on you with a fierce solar beam to the face. Oh, so he's gonna do sunny day solar beam strats, okay. Be manageable. What a coincidence! I'm playing this. You were just listening to versus professors, uh, the professors with lyrics. I haven't listened to that, but I've seen people say it's good. I might have to give that a little listen later. Yield sun strats, yeah. Oh yeah, mega char. Well, no, it was my X and Y strats. My Y strats. Mega Charizard Y. Good lord, that thing. Having an instant sunny day, and then solar beam on that on him. Chewing on a battery? Don't do that. It'll make your brain melt. What I need to do? I need to make a sour sandwich. And a TM. Elite 4 of the BB League. X, X, Charizard X looks cooler. But Y is more... And Y is just better to use. My goal is to defeat the BB Elite Four. Joke's on you, your brain is already gas. Yeah. You should have seen me earlier, I, I spilled my drink. Yu Chen the student. BB League, man, what joke do I make there? Chu, I still want your purple Charizard back. He's still on Smash Brothers, at least. Oh, this is probably a bad move. Let me flip turn out of here. <laughs> the balloon bird league, god damn it. Ah. I say it's big brisket. Uh. I said big boobies earlier. Big booba league. So, Scorching Sands, ow. Oh, that's not good. That's cut and retaliates bonus right in half. Oh yeah, I used Guillotine. Why'd I do that? I think I'm ready to retaliate. Oh, it's still there. Well, now it's too late to use it, so. Kowtow Cleave. Versus Professor Dima, your parents are arguing in the background. I mean, that's just that's just Arvin's life in general.
No way. Are you in the upper ranks yourself? The Savannah Biome's Elite Four member is called Crispin. Crispin, excuse me. He's only a first-year student here, but his Pokemon are super strong. Damn it. I This game is annoying with that. Why do they make the Pokemon zone in on you while you're in battle? Yeah, I know. Arvin had a hard life. Trust me, I'm not... I'm not making fun of him. I sympathize. I sympathize. Look at that glow. Oh, there's going to be a middle game for Scarlet and Violet? No, the DLC is pretty much the third version now. Yeah, it's a little too close to home. To be fair, it's a little close to home for a lot of people, including myself, so don't worry. I totally get it. Uh, if this is fire Pokemon, I should probably be not using uh, Meowskarada and Ogre Pond. <laughs> yeah, grass and rock is not a good... Well, actually, rock... So, so she would take neutral damage from fire. But solar beam will do double damage because rock is weak to grass, isn't it? No kill, yeah. I wish I had more XL candies. Oh, that's not even enough to get a single level. Actually, this whole team is kind of not super great <laughs> to use against fire type. I wasted a rare candy there. I should not have used it when they're that close to leveling up. Oh, let's make our sour sandwich. Hold on. Our picnic again? Doesn't seem like you could host a picnic here. Probably best to not host a picnic here. Okay. There was an item over here. Yeah, I saw the f Blastoise's animation is fixed. They finally have him use cannons uh, for his actual water type moves. Oh, yeah, this too. There's a Pride Rock parody over here. Look at this. It's it's Pride Rock and there's only Pyroar on top. In fact, there's one that just stands at the edge. I 
don't know if there's anything special about this one. I don't think there is, because it respawns. Eat him. Now I gotta catch him. Maybe there's a special mark or something. Here's a little pride work together, bring down praise, thanks to them that pr pride don't starve. No mark. Long live the king. What was the queen? The queen in this case. Yes, queen slay. A sour sandwich. Sweetness, banana. Sandwich is ham and butter. It's so simple, there's no way to fake it. <laughs> Ultra pickle sandwich. Here we go. Sour bite and spiciness of the mustard makes the sandwich next level. Great herb sausage. No pickle. Okay. Great tropical sandwich. The pineapple unlocks a tropical atmosphere. The more sour the sourness comes through, the tastier the sandwich. <coughs> I guess we'll do the, uh... Great tropical sandwich. So cloth, so it uses crab, avocado, pineapple, and then whatever topping was put on there. Or whatever whatever garnish was uh, put on there. Ten minutes to make the sandwich. Whoa! That's stuck vertically. Good enough. off. Great tropical sandwich. Three stars. No, it didn't count. 
Alright, I'm actually curious what I need to do. Maybe I have to just free ball it. Salty, bitter, salty, spicy, salty, sweet and salty, salty and bitter, salty and very bitter, salty, potato tortilla. It says it's sour as pickle. Oh, tart. Tart is probably sour as well. Very sweet and very sour. Very sour. Sour and bitter. Sour and bitter. Oh my god, these kiwi slices are huge and you get six of them per item. <coughs> oh, I've really limited where I could stick shit now. Kiwis are okay. I like kiwis. I like most fruit, honestly. We have pineapple downstairs. I haven't eaten it yet. I need to get at that before it goes bad. No! Oh, I knew it was going to fall right into oblivion. We just could, like, spin them. That'd be helpful. Pickle. 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 No! It's gone. It's in the void. Pickle. Chicken. Good enough. <laughs> I can't get over how good the fucked up sandwiches look. Making me hungry for a sandwich right now. I know I just finished that spicy meat stick, but that was like half of one from left, left leftover from last night. Oh, that's definitely sour. That was a pucker sound. A tasty Michael original. Egg power level one. There we go.
Can I make a quesadilla in just that? Oh, you could. I mean, you have to use you have to use the roll, but you can put like a potato tortilla in there. I'm fucking around too much. Keep saying I want to move ahead, and then I don't. How did they not get surprised by that? I want a grilled cheese sandwich with kimchi and beef. You know, I've never had... Oh, no, I've had kimchi before. It's spicy. That actually sounds good. See, kimchi here is like an exotic food. So it's not common here. Fuck. Your mom makes the best kimchi and spicy quesadillas. I really want to try your country's cooking. Why am I not surprising any of these guys? I'm like so far away from them. Now I'm getting annoyed on principle. At least until it uh, got shut down because we have to move. Wait, did you run a restaurant or something? I used to run a fast food shop. I don't know. What? Why am I not surprising anyone? I'm sneaking. There we go. <laughs> she did so well it became her business and then went like on another radar just as a local company. Like, yeah, oh, she has some like, tasty garlic sauce. Mm. Also, Coreslow? Never heard of Coreslow. I'm assuming that's not like coleslaw. It is that. Oh. She's on her burgers to give the bread some taste. Mmm. Something to know about me is like I I love trying cuisine from other countries. I try to be very open-minded about it. I'm willing to try anything once. If it's like absolutely like I can't stand it after one bite, I'm like, okay. I it's not for me, but I won't hate on it. I try to approach everything like Anthony Bourdain. Very respectful man when it came to other cu cultures' food. Like how he said food would be a, a little earthy whenever it tasted like, 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 <laughs> whenever it had, like, fecal taste to it. 
What is my computer loading? Then it just had that loading circle. Not, not too, uh... Yep, dude, you're a cool one. Yeah, he was really nice. I didn't really know about him until after he died, honestly. I never really followed his work. Patty's like, frying the patties once it's done. She had cheese on top of the patties to cook the cheese. Uh -huh. So she cooked them all separately. Welcome to the Savannah Plaza. We're the team that supports Crispin of the Elite Four. And you're Michael, right? One of the BB League challengers? You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Oh, okay. It's like a pittance. Are you ready and willing to pay? I'm guessing if I lose, I have to pay again, though. You paid 50 beepus. <laughs> Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. <laughs> hey, Crispin, an order's just come in for ya. Coming right up. I forgot the voice I gave him before. Oh, hey, I saw you in the cafeteria. You're Michael, right? Just the person to get my energy pumping. I feel like I'm cooking at a nice simmer over here. We gotta move somewhere else for this next part. Follow me. I've been waiting for a fiery challenger like you. Taking on the Elite Four pretty much right after coming to our school? Now that's lit, fam. No wonder Kieran and Drayton like you. And if I'm being honest, you've kindled my curiosity too. Have you ever thought about being in a polycule? I mean, I should warn you, though, my trial is no cakewalk. My elite trial is putting together a super spicy sandwich. And I mean super spicy! I want something so hot it'll have me breathing flames. Oh, I just made a bunch of sandwiches. I know what you're thinking. That sounds easy, right? But you can't use your own ingredients. You have to negotiate with the lug le league lug You have to negotiate with the league club members around here to get what they need. Get what you need. Once you think you have all the right ingredients, come back and talk to me. Then I'll judge your sandwich making skills with my own two eyes. The key to cooking any dish is picking the right ingredients. The rest is easy as pie. Chris, man, I want to be able to taste other stuff, too. Well, it's for him, not me. You ready to take on my elite trial, Michael? I'm ready. Sweet. Give me a hot minute to get everything set up. She added barbecue sauce and garlic sauce, then added lettuce leaves and cucumber, tomato, on us, onions. Me and mom usually fry the onion and tomato. I like that you call it tomato. Bum 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 That's that's gonna be this music, isn't it? I can just tell by the beat. First things first, negotiate with the league club members and get some ingredients. You need to make a super spicy sandwich. That should already be a clue for what you need. Once you got all the ingredients to whip up your sandwich, give me a holler. Alright then, let's start this now. Elite trial, make a super spicy sandwich. See, can I call it? I know this. I know that beat from a mile away. Making yourself hungry. You're making me hungry. Mag Mortar is a human-sized height, and he's got very big, kissable lips. Chili sauce or ketchup? Here's this, you toast the buns, too. I'm not a big fan of toasted buns. I never get my sandwiches toasted when I go get fast food sandwiches. I'm also not really big on barbecue sauce, usually. It depends on how sweet or smoky it is. I'm not big on smoky flavors, unless I'm, like, specifically eating something that's meant to be smoky. I wonder if anyone has any lovely green cucumbers to spare. How about you? If you have a cucumber, will you trade me for some chili sauce or ketchup? Trade you for the chili sauce? You don't have any cucumbers, do you? How sad. Three ingredients if you bring the right answer. Oh wow, you don't have any ingredients at all. Come back once you've gathered some ingredients. Trade you a jalapeno. I'm, a I'm in a fine pickle, I am. I'm missing two old ingredients. Listen, I'll give you a super spicy jalapeno if you find me some prosciutto and olive oil. I don't have any. Broder Chorizons. Oh man, I really want some eggs. I really, really want some eggs. If you got any eggs, I'll trade you something that really broadens your Chorizons. Marmalade and mustard. I think I bought too much marmalade, and I don't really need all this mustard either. Would you be willing to trade your vinegar for either my marmalade or mustard? Sure, but I don't have anything. Where do you get ingredients? Jalapenos. 
You all know jalapenos are super spicy. And guess what? I got some. And I'll also have you know I'm good at battles. Like, really good. Look like you want jalapenos, so I'll give you a choice. You want to battle me for some? Or buy some off of me for 50 BP? Uh, please, I'm gonna kick your ass. Like I said, I'm really strong. I think you might regret your decision. Just realized Karidon and Maridon are past and future. Yep. And ride on, like you ride on them. Rue the student. I rue the student that faces me. Also very, very, uh... Why would you- why would you name your kid Sauce? <laughs> or not Sauce, but like... It's- it's- it's like... It's used to thicken sauces. Dressing, yeah. I guess it is sauce in a way. So, I- so, okay. Living in the New York, New Jersey area, apparently- and it, uh, not apparently, this has been a thing my whole life. People in New York refer to, uh, like, red tomato sauce as- as gravy. I am not a gravy person. I'm sure if you've watched Vinny and Mike streams, you've probably heard this- this story. Because it's like, it's just a New York City, like, Italian thing. But, they'll call, uh... They'll call- they'll call red sauce gravy. Which... I guess technically is correct, but, like, no one calls it that. It's like, no one says Staten Island is part of New York City. Just giving you an aneurysm every day. <laughs> yeah, try living here. I don't live in New York. I live in New Jersey, which is right next to it. Or I guess left next to it. Don't shoot at it. Okay. I'm gonna say, don't shoot at a Jotaro. You'd be able to focus punch you. It's a whole lot of pain, yo. Ha <laughs> ha, a lot of pain, yo. Nice. What a burn. Prefer banana ketchup in your country. Banana ketchup? I see you're a jalapeno-worthy trainer. You have received the helping of jalapeno. Here, let me heal your old Pokemon after that. Oh, thank you. That's very nice of you, actually. Thank you. Piece of advice, don't rub your eyes after handling jalapenos. Mayonnaise. Basically using banana instead of ketchup. That's a weird... That's a very weird substitution. Do you want mayonnaise? I'll share some with you, but only if you can defeat me. Oh, it's mayon now. It's like the Japanese... It makes me think of Japanese mayonnaise, where it's spicy. Carmella the student, okay. Carmel. Pyroar and Pyroar. Oh, I guess they heal you because you can't access your item bag here.
L plus ratio plus didn't ask plus uh, IV cudgel. Banana ketchup, also known as banana sauce, is a Philippine fruit ketchup condiment made from banana, sugar, vinegar, and spices. Okay, so it's not just banana. I may have underestimated you. Here's some mayonnaise, like I promised. It's really good, so spread the word. No, it isn't. Mayonnaise is not good on its own. Here, let me heal up your Pokemon so there's no sour feelings between us. Three ingredients if you give me something. Man, I got a hankering some of that potatoy stuff that you eat cold, you know? I'll hand over three ingredients just for a bit of it. Got any of that potatoy stuff for me? No. Beat me for potato salad, okay. That's a potato salad if you want. You'll have to beat me in battle to get it, though. I'll mash you like a potato. Maybe it's de delicious on its own. I drank a satch of it. <laughs> well, okay. The white mayo that you find, julienne, like julienne fries. Because potatoes! <laughs> Show me potato salad. God damn it. I was trying not to make that joke. It's not even really a joke, it's more just a reference. So mayo, white mayo is like very distinct. If you've, if you've never had it, I don't, I mean, I'm, I'm assuming you have. But then there's Japanese mayo, which is like orange and spicy, and that's really good. You dip sushi in it. Show me potato salad, egg salad. I like pasta salad myself. Not macaroni salad, pasta salad. There's a difference. Macaroni salad is like the little pipes in the in the mayonnaise sauce, like the potato salad. But pasta salad is a mix of like different colored pastas in like an oil and vinegar sauce with, with some veggies, and it's really good. I love it. Ever had mayo with lime? No, I haven't. French fries is a potato salad, to, to be honest. I guess technically. Yes, I can hear the voice of the potato salad speaking to me now. My potato salad says it wants to go with you. Okay. There's something so restorative about carrying potato salad around, don't you think? Are you paid to make these awful puns? Potato salad's because it, salad's nice because it's not spicy at all. Hanker for some of that potatoy stuff. Okay. Yes, this is it. You won't believe how much I've been craving potato salad all day. Here you go. Three ingredients in exchange for your potato salad. Got helpings of onion, cucumber, and prosciutto. Also, if that read this post for one, if you could only eat one kind of meal for the rest of your life, what would it be? And some guy answered salad, because honestly, anything can be a salad. Oh, well, that's smart. I know some people put apples in potato salad, but I can't say I'm a big fan. Excuse me. Let's see if you can get this trivia question. If you do it, I'll give you three ingredients. What do you get when you mix eggs, oil, and vinegar? Tell me if you've got it. Uh, is that mayonnaise? I'm not gonna answer that. I don't know if anyone has any lovely green cucumbers to spare. I'll trade you some for some chili sauce or ketchup. Oh, you even sliced the cucumber for me. This is perfect. Let's trade. Got a bottle of chili sauce. Nice. It is mayo. Okay. Wait, she have more? I wouldn't mind exchanging that chili sauce I gave you for some ketchup if you'd like. No, ketchup's not spicy. It is mayo. Correct, the answer is mayonnaise. You've got five-star knowledge, I see. Here's your prize. Three whole ingredients at once. 
egg, curette of olive oil, cruet of vinegar. Cruet. All right, what did you want for the chorizo? I want some eggs. Really, really want some eggs. Okay. Woohoo! Way to make the correct choice. Here you go, chum. Receive the helping of chorizo. Well, I'm gonna find pickle. I'm missing two all ingredients. I'll listen, I'll give you a super spicy jalapeno if you give me some prosciutto and olive oil. I have both. Yes, you've got a real big heart, you know? Got a helping of jalapeno. You don't cook much, huh? I make tuna salad. That involves mayonnaise. I don't make mayonnaise from scratch. I take it out of the Hellman's bottle in my fridge. Why is it that we say kind, generous people have big hearts? I don't know. Hope you're putting that chorizo to good use. It has a zing to it, so it's not for everyone. I think I bought too much marmalade, and I don't really need all this mustard either. Would you be willing to trade your vinegar for either my marmalade or mustard? I'll trade for the mustard. Thanks, here you go. I went over your cruette of vinegar and got a bottle of mustard. Alright, I think that's all of them. It's not that, but it's really surprising that you were asking if it's mayo. I didn't know. I know mayo has eggs, that's it. So I got two jalapenos, a mayonnaise, an onion, a chili sauce, a chorizo, and mustard. I mean, all of these are pretty spicy except for the mayonnaise. Onion's got a onion's got a spice to it. Ready to get cooking? Got everything you need? Want to start making a super spicy sandwich? I want to start. I can tell you're cooking on high heat. Looking forward to something extra spicy then. Need hot sauce? I have hot sauce, don't I? Yeah, chili sauce. Pick designed after mag mortar. It said that using this pick makes any sandwich look like it's fresh out of the oven. It's the process of emulsification of those ingredients to make mayo. Yeah. Chorizo. Oyon. Jalapeno. And another jalapeno. I knew I was going to have to make the sandwich myself. This makes it a lot riskier. I think the jalapeno is the most important part here. And bread down. Bam. Whole? Nah, not in your place. It's cooked whole. <laughs> what, the chorizo? I, I don't think I've ever had chorizo before. Very good. Actually, might be my thumbnail for tonight. A tasty Michael original, even though it's exactly what he wanted. N nice shadow pop in there. What the hell was that? Woo, this isn't spicy anymore. It's just pain. It's burning all the way up inside. Even the spiciest of souls would love that super spicy sandwich. So you know what? I think I can already give you my verdict. You passed. That was absolutely perfect. Your sandwich brought the heat like nothing else. Elite trial cleared. Looks like he's doing the the Tetis laugh from that one scene that everyone misinterprets. Crispin, you spice masochist. I'm gonna enjoy the tingle on my tongue as we head back to the plaza. The other week I tried putting curry powder on my uh, popcorn and I sneezed like 18 times in a row because I was I thought powder was like. You're not supposed to just eat that powder, as is. You gotta cook it. You gotta mix it in. Well, that wraps up the trial, so now it's time to face me in an elite battle. You all prepped and ready to take me on? Coming right up. Watch out, because I'm cranking up the heat. I don't 
like how bright it is. Again, it makes me think of Mirror's Edge. Now everything in that game had like a bright bloom shine to it. Yeah, I mean, you can eat it like that, but personally, outer case is taken off and the meat crumbled up so you can make treason with eggs or treason in beans. Uh -huh. So, Michael, I take it there's a messy history between you and Kieran, huh? It sure seems like Drayton's cooking up something fishy, too. Ah, everything's getting so complicated. Can't you just get all... all can't you all just get over yourselves? If you want to say something, just say it. If you want to do something, just do it. I'm the kind of guy who wastes time sweating the small stuff. I battle because I want to battle. And you know what? That's how it should be. I'm Crispin, the Elite Four rep in this here Savannah biome. I want to win, so that's exactly what I'll do. Add cheese powder, sour cream powder, or barbecue powder here. Uh, so honestly, I don't blame you. Uh -huh. Cheese powder is good. I like that. Challenged by Crispin of the BB Elite Four. Now then, time to get cooking. Wait, no, time to start battling. He's got fire, Rotom. All right, Talon Flim's probably the bigger threat. Good taste in bird Pokemon, yeah. This sunny day. Focus Ash. Ah, oh, you're really gonna douse our flames if you keep using moves like that. Yep, Focus Ash. That's why I had Miascarada follow up. Huh? Wait, what happened? Where'd all that damage come from? Flame body, of course. That's a lot of damage, yeah. And now they're both burned, so they're both taking a... Uh... Attack debuff. That's gonna use Solar Beam. Yeah, crispy Pokemons for crispy, crispy Crispin. Not very good. Yep, I knew it. Oh, fuck off. It's gonna... Yeah, take... O oh, didn't take Ogre Pond out. But now the burn is, so... Whatever. Definitely a lot less uh, hanging in there happening around here. Oh, he's got a full team of six. Okay. And we'll Bitter Blade Executor. Alright, so we'll have half his team down now. Jotro will slip, slip, flip out with flip turn. Oh, he had a Rocky Helmet on. 
It's so bright, yeah, I know. Someone turn on the damn contrast, Jesus, is too much. Okay, I can't send Jotaro back in unless, uh, I swap out later. How exactly does the guillotine, uh, level thing work? Accuracy is 30%, guillotine of- oh wait, no, that's gen 1. Gen 2, gen 3 is onwards. Despite having a fixed accuracy of 30% listed, when Pokemon have the same level and is 1% more likely to hit for every level the user is higher. If the user at least 70 levels higher, the target will always hit. If the user is lower, the move always fails. So right now, if I use it, it would have a 30... 1, 2, 3... 33% chance of hitting. So a 1 in 3 shot. It's not affected by accuracy invasion, nor is it affected by other accuracy modifiers. Terror Raid bosses are unaffected by Guillotine. I mean, I could try Retaliate first and see if I could get that. Get some, get some good good off of that. Nope, never mind, King Gambit's out. You know, they paint the walls a more tolerable color, yeah. Everything has to be futuristic cubes, that's why. Earth power? Oh, fuck. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Special defense down. Alright, Jotaro, get back in there. Cleaned up. Yeah, he's throwing hands hard. I I'm also unprepared. Wait, does that automatically send him out now? Time to terrestrialize and really turn up the heat! Go on, Blaziken! Burn bright red! And... Uh, we got Mega Evolution at home. Mega Evolution at home. Already blew my terrestrialization. Oh. 
Oh, good. Even if he gets knocked out, he still keeps the form. Got him. I wanted a win, but I lost. Why did I suddenly get more uh, missions? Woo, that was amazing! We cranked the heat up all the way up! We cranked the heat all the way up, my Michael! <sighs> I love battles and I love cooking because they're both easy to understand. In battles, you either win or lose. With cooking, your dish is either spicy or not spicy. Oh, you're gonna make people on my chat very upset by saying that. Simple, right? But right now, I'm in the mood. The mood in the league club feels, I don't know, off. It's so frustrating. I wish I knew how we could go back to being the fun club we were before. But hey, didn't mean to douse the flames there. You were real strong, Michael. Just like the brightness in this area. Let me see if I could transfer the burning heat from our battle to my frying pan. I'll whip you up something great. Elite Force Crispin defeated. He said... He said battling and cooking are, are easy. In battling, you either win or lose, and in cooking, it's either spicy or not spicy. Here, I'll also give you one of my favorite moves to serve up in battle. Temper Flame. That's a new move. Spurred by desperation, the user attacks the target. The move's power is doubled if the user's previous move failed. Ooh, that's a good move. I've got no clue how to manage the temperature of anything besides what I'm cooking. So all I can say is crank up all the heat. They heat all you want in the BB League, Michael. Yeah, I don't love that. I'm out it. Yeah, war, 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 war. Prep time to heat, knowing how much to add. No, he's... Yeah, no, no. He's he's clearly... Oh, hey, it's Drayton. Yo, champ in the making. That's one of the Elite and Four members beat. Things are looking good for you. Crispin's no pushover. He's just super straightforward. I think that's kind of the part of his charm, you know? We used to chow down on Crispin's cooking after club activities let out. Those were the days. Guess he's been worrying about the way things are, too, in his own way. You might just be the one we need to shake things up in the League Club. That's it from me. Good luck with the remaining Elite 3. Take a photo of a wild flying type Pokemon. That should be bad. Tarasalize your Pokemon to feed a wild Pokemon. Make a TM. Take a photo of a swimming Pokemon. Actually, do I need to? Yes, I do. We're, we're beat up. Got two cooks malding here. Yeah. Ah. Uh, please let it be dark soon. What time is it? Oh, it's 3.30 where you are? Congratulations on your victory against Crispin of the Elite Four. List of TMs I can make has been updated. My tower orb is all charged. Yeah, I forgot it. it. Now that daylight savings times happen, it's I'm 13 hours behind you instead of 12. Not what I meant to do. Oh, you meant in like the game? Okay. Resident Vampire Penny isn't doing too hot. She shows up later, I believe. I don't know when. All of them do. Gotta sit through this cutscene. <coughs> um.
I need a snack. A little snacky. What else? Would it be like a Pokemon... Pokemon Quad Squad or like Penny would be a vampire? Oh! If the, if the main characters were, like, movie monsters. Well, Arvin would be the werewolf. Because he's got his big, his big puppo. It's also kind of built like one. You know, my dumbass thought that was a shiny. Nimona being a werewolf. Maybe. I'm knocking out some BBQs, baby. I'm doing some BBQs with my pals during our break between classes. Apparently to get everything, I have to do multiplayer BBQs. Tsukasa. Baditas. Strawberry-filled cookies. Artificially flavored. Teresa. Alright. Give these a shot. Oh, these are individually wrapped, too. Oh, no, like they're wrapped, too, in a package. Okay. Focus Sash? In a regular battle? Okay. I had the Guncitos, and they were good. Oh, fuck. Oh, you're fucked. Ooh, that's pretty good. I'm eating the baritas. Mmm. Been use a quest I'll never be able to complete. Yeah, this is really good. I like it. It's very soft. It makes me think of a Fig Newton, but better. You get even more BP when you do quests with your friends than when you do them solo. Yep. You did know that, right? They have pineapple in them, too. Oh, nice. Mmm. Playing one handy right now. <laughs> Did you see that chance he just disappeared? What's that? Oh, it's a Rhyhorn. I was like, what is that thing over there? I'm gonna give you a burrito for like a year or so now. It's good. It's good. I'm gonna eat the other one later. No, I needed that fucking... There, 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 there it is. I need that for an elite quest. Why won't count? I hate how it fills up my actual Switch library with that. It's annoying.
Catch one ground type Pokemon. Rhydon isn't ground, right? Where is it? It's very annoying. Why isn't it counting? Photo of a wild flying type Pokemon. Oh, it doesn't even have to be flying. It just needs to be a flying type. About to go get super fast haircut, but you have no money. Uh, still, why isn't it counting? Make a TM swimming Pokemon. up work. Excuse me. So sorry to bother you, but do you know where we are? I'm completely lost. Armin. Armin! Aaron! Yes, I opened up another drink, by the way. Sorry for the poor show in battle, too. I'm trying to reach the central plaza. Was it not this way? I mean, I could go right to the next challenge right now, but I think I want to go to the Central Plaza first and, uh, make a TM. Ground-type Pokemon. Pokemon battles? There we go. Hey there, exchange student. Your friendly neighborhood guidance counselor here. Hope it doesn't feel too invasive for me to ask. Are you keeping up with your Pokemon battles? Here at Blueberry Academy, we try to get students excited to battle each other, which means I'll give you BP for battling the students. The more battles, the more BP. So I should try to f defeat five students here in the Savannah Dome. Biome, excuse me. So far, you defeated nine students here. Great job! Look at you being all pro proactive. I said the same thing as the other person. Here's some BP for you. A hard reward for all that hard work. Here's a little bonus. TM. Throat chop. Nice. You'll get yourself even more wins. I'll have another reward here waiting for you. Ten, right? 
I'm guessing there's going to be like 10 or 15 in each area. Actually, there's, there's our 10th right there. Healing machines. I'm the best of my whole class at using the self-serve healing machines to heal up my team. That's not an accomplishment, dude. I'm more worried about what the other students aren't doing. Chloe. Ow. Stupid mock punch. Love our main characters because of a battle junkie and introvert and a himbo and our new just got dragged in this mess. Yeah, but to be fair, this story, they've kinda they're kinda just not here right now. They weren't involved in the previous DLC, and they're only involved in this one at the very end, I think. Ogre Pond's already in battle, idiot! So we got these new little, like, mini trees. I think I've... T I don't know if I've talked about this. We got these new little, like, mini trees to put outside the house for Christmas. And they have lights on them with, like, different flashing patterns. And we were like, okay, so we gotta turn them off and on every day because we don't want them to be on in the morning and wasting the battery because it runs on, like, double-A batteries. Well, I lost. Time to go use that healing machine. Somehow... Without, without knowing, there's a timer on it, and the timer goes on and off at, like, the exact time we were going to turn it on and off. And I'm like, I'm, I was like, Mom, do these have a timer in them? She's like, no, they didn't say they did. I'm like, I think they do, because I think it goes on and off every night at the same time. My dream is to work in a Pokemon Center one day. Then I'll use the healing machines all the time. Heal me, Daddy. You only give me a hundred. I'm gonna be annoyed. Two hundred. All right. Double edge. Get yourself even more wins. How many more people are in this dome? Fourteen. Okay, so fourteen is how many students are gonna be here. So I'm assuming it's fourteen in every uh, biome. Yeah, I know what I said. I know what I said, Karma. Trust me. Interesting idea, Karma. I may have to. Uh, we may have to brainstorm something later. Things are strained between the League Club kids. Being a teacher, I can't help but worry about them. The blocks. The blocks you see around the terrarium get off infrared and ultraviolet rays. Apparently those rays help Pokemon and plants grow. Which is why they're so insufferably bright. Okay, what's the easiest one I can make that doesn't... Take a ton of resources. Protect.
want to use for this. Sure, why not? Let's use one of our shiny ingredients. Would you like to help me out by participating in an amazing experiment I'm working on? That's the spirit. Let's head over to the test area then. Karma, watch this. You're gonna like you're gonna like what this is. You need to have a Pokemon out of its ball for this experiment. Just let me know once you're ready. A shiny green. Are you ready to help me out with an amazing experiment? That's the spirit. Let's get this started then. Synchronize! Your mind and feelings are now synchronized with those of your Pokemon. Now that you're all synced up, your Pokemon will move as directed by your thoughts. Let's start with the movement test. There's a tree in front of your Pokemon. Try moving over there. <laughs> I thought you, I knew you'd like that. Ah, yes, you're so in sync. I was able to get some very useful data from that session. Thank you so much. Here's a little something for your trouble. Three rare candies, nice. You really have talent for this. Would you mind sticking around for just one more experiment? It'd be a bit more work than the last one, but I'll give you something really nice afterwards. Are you in the mood to help me out with an amazing experiment? Okay then, here we go. Synchronize. Your mind and feelings are synchronized with those of your Pokemon once again. Since this is your second time synchronizing, you should be able to do all sorts of things. So let's begin the battle test. Try to get against some of the other Pokemon in this area. I'm in a completely new area. I haven't explored this part. Ah, yes, you've got the best synchronization I've ever seen. I'm sure someone with your talent could put this amazing invention to good use. You obtain the Synchro Machine. Put the Synchro Machine in your bag's key items pocket. A device that synchronizes your minds and feelings of your Pokemon so you can work as one. It's still a prototype, hence its unrefined appearance. It's still a prototype, so its design may look a little uninspiring. But you could use it to synchronize whenever you want. Try it out with lots of different Pokemon. Whoops, I completely missed that. Have you been using the Synchro Machine I gave you? You can sync with your Pokemon by pressing the machine's L and R buttons at the same time. Work at sync with the Pokemon that you have walking around with you. Hold down the L button, then press R to begin synchronizer. Just remember the sync machine only works in the terrarium.
What other Pokemon could I do this with? That'd be fun to uh, be in their in their body space. Luxray would be fun. I mean, all of them would be fun. They're, they're all exactly the same. Skuntank? I, where? Come to think of it. Do I have... Is Skuntank in this game? I actually don't know. If it is, I don't have one. I don't think. I could have swore it was. Oh yeah, it is. It's right there. So if I... Can't use the Synchro Machine now. Wait, but I can now. See what my character's face looks like. He's clearly concentrating hard, though. Dream come true, yeah. Until you get trapped, you get soft locked in an area. Fun. I don't see the point. Like, gameplay-wise, I don't see the point in it. Also, apparently, shinies can still spawn while you're doing this, so... If once, if, you know, if one spawns there, you rip. You're, you're not getting it. Oh, I can't use the Synchro Machine while it's in the... While it's in, uh... In a state. Just managed to scramble back out of the water. <laughs> That's not what I meant, sour cream, but you know what? Sure. We were both thinking it, let's be honest. It's all mine. This is my own private beach and no one else knows about. What do you want? Yun He, the student. This is a bit too private. Clearly out of practice for battle.
This is basically a dead end, so I'm usually the only one who bothers to come here. Any new Pokemon here? Let's see, that's a Losis over there. That's a funny be for puzzle solving. Let's say you need a Pokemon that's too small to enter that's small enough to enter a passageway. Yeah, I think it's potential, I just don't think it's being used. That's not a shiny Duraldon, right? No. Just has a shiny body. It's a milsery. I don't want to veer off into these two biomes yet. I want to finish the, the two I've already explored. And then we'll focus on, like, chewing through one of them. I'll probably do this one next and save the canyon for last. Oregon. See a deerling just like drop down. You know what? I feel like I feel like that this this synchronization machine is gonna be used like in a specific way that's gonna come back in another game in the future. Look, it's the banned Pokemon. Yeah. My poor Porygon. It's technically a bird. Porygon Fragment. It's an artificial Pokemon. It says it doesn't breathe. People are excited about its potential to be useful in any environment. Wait, what box am I in? Yeah, no. Does not belong here. <laughs> Back to the blueberry box with you. Also, I need to figure out where this Geodude goes. Oh, Waterstone. Charged Stone Cavern. Oh. Isn't that the name of the, the tunnel in uh, black and white? Yeah, look, it's the same thing. Can you interact with these? No, you can't. Oh, Plusle, or Minin. Where's the minin? I need it. Electros. There it is. There's the minin. Yes, I know I pronounce it wrong. It's Minin. That's just a whole... That's just a bad habit of mine. Exposure to electricity from Minin and Plusle promotes blood circulation and relaxes muscles. Cute. What the... What is that? Oh, is that Joltik? I think it is. Yeah, it is. What is that tiny little thing?
Joel took that live in cities have learned a technique for sucking electricity from the outlets and houses. Oh, I like doing that. Makes my stomach feel good. Happened to me once. I don't want to. I don't want to get lost in here. That being said, I do need that. Dig through the ground at a speed of 30 miles per hour. Can give a car running above ground a good race. Mole. Never used Drill Bear before. Double crit capture. To be fair, I have the maximum crit capture rate at this point. Because it's only based on it's only based on the basic Paldea Pokedex, which I finished. And I have the, the catch charm now as well. Alright, Electrolyzer. I'm assuming next is a Magmarizer, right? Yep. And then probably a Protector, and then probably a Reaper Cloth or something. I have, I have almost enough to get one of the Biome Expansions, which I believe adds starters to the Biomes. Every starter is... You can get every starter except uh, the Paldean ones. Tynamo. Oh. Yeah, no, I don't, I, I don't want to fuck with that right now. I think I'm I think I'm good on that. Ten ghost terror shards. I think about Metroid Prime. I played that earlier this year. Remember how I spliced together the end of that playthrough? Because I was so upset with losing the first time? <laughs> little, a little, a little thing. I admitted to it a while back, but the, uh, the VODs for Metroid Prime Remastered. Um, the second to last step. Uh-oh. I think I'm stuck. I think I'm stuck. There we go. Yeah, the second to last stream I did of that, uh, I, I edited the VOD upload. Because uh, it ended very badly for me. So I, I just cut all that out. Like those jellyfish thingies in Metroid. Th those are the Metroids. <laughs> I enjoyed the Metroids from the hit game Metroid. Golurk, or Golet. I already have one. I don't know if I have the winner version, so I'm just encountering it to get it in the Pokedex. There's a Crab Brawler here. <gasps> There's a Golurk! I do need one of those. I had a Golurk in uh, Black 2, I believe.
that I used. Didn't think it'd be that easy. The guy from that one Legend of Zelda game. Wait, what? The statue. Oh. There we go. I do think a Pokemon's catch rate does have to do with the critical capture rate as well. Like, the harder it is to capture, the less chance you have of getting a critical capture. With the seal in its chest is removed, it rages indiscriminately. So during such rampages, it could turn a whole town into a mountain of rubble. Automaton Pokemon. The shiny version looks like Big O, and I think it's entirely intentional. Wild Pokemon is swimming, okay. Oh boy. It's really where that Snubble is just fairy type now. Like, its, it's weaknesses and resistances completely changed. I think you're right. This is the Dugong. Yeah, I've already been here. Ultra Balls. Nice. Give me shiny luck. Uh, I mean, I haven't run into one tonight yet. Unless I skipped one, which I probably have. Because skipping shinies in this game is very easy. <laughs> Unintentionally easy. That wasn't one. Stop. Oh my god, why is this blizzard getting so bad? Let me guess, it's raining outside of this biome. Do it. I'm all pumped up. Definitely ready to venture into the polar biome. Cause the student. Cause. I'm already a nuclear demon, cause.
No! Did the wrong move. Ah, oh, fuck. Was he doing that ball in his hand? I don't know, shaking. He was he was pulling in a Wayne. Down, sword hand. Stuff is happening and I'm not paying attention. I got invited to nine jobs on Voices since I started the stream, which is unusual to get that many in a row, and they're all the same client that I've done like a million auditions for and never even get considered. They're all mobile phone they're all mobile phone ads. I might just dismiss all nine of them. There's no point in me. Spending time doing every single one of those. Oh my god! How's this battle still going? Pay up good or else? Uh, they kind of all... I mean, for the amount of work... It's kind of hard to quantify with voiceover stuff. Most jobs on that site that I get recommended are like, okay... It's gonna be one minute of audio, and you're gonna get paid a hundred bucks. Which is a decent amount of money for, a, a, you know, a minute of audio, but... You also have to remember that it takes about... Ten minutes... You know, you, you have to audition for it, then you have to record it and edit it. So it's more than one minute of work. But, like, a one, one minute of audio could take up to, like, ten, fifteen minutes to do. And then, you know, you're doing... So you get... You could do maybe, at most, if you're working non-stop, four of those in an hour. Which is pretty good. $400 in an hour for an hour of work. But also you have to remember that you're not booking work constantly. How much can you voice act for $5? At that point, I would just say don't even bother with the money. Just tell me what you'd like me to voice act. And if, if I can, I will. If it's clearly someone who can't... You know, if it's clearly someone with a passion project... That's the thing. I'm, I, I willingly audition for unpaid stuff still. Mo sometimes. Not all the time. Uh, I think I got cold feet. It's super cold in the polo biome, you know? Totally managed to give it an arctic feel. The power of science. Sure is something. If you want me to voice something for you, you can just tell me. You don't have to pay me. It'd be very messy anyway, because I'm going to got to report it. I haven't, thankfully, like, as much as I've been sh floundering right now, I'm kind of thank- Ooh, Porygon Z! I need that. Uh, what is that, a five-star? Okay. I'm, there's no way I'm trading Pokemon. Normal, right? Wait, what? Actually, normal and what? Normal and water. So electricity and fighting would be good. What are people using? 
Uh, Sylveon, Maridon, Solgaleo. Ghost is pretty good because normal attacks will not uh, affect me. don't like when the game does that. That. Yeah. Oh my god, that mask is so crusty up close. Oh, someone's sending out a Porygon 2. It's very interesting because Porygon 2 and Porygon Z are like different, like they're useful in different ways. It's actually helpful to not evolve Porygon 2 because it gets less defense. Plus, Porygon 2 can technically use Evil Evoliite. Evoliite, whatever it's called. So technically, there's there's situations where Porygon 2 is just way better competitively. Ah, fuck. I know I'd have side beam. Wow, someone just knocked it for like all of it. So yeah, they just killed it. That's incredible. I don't know what the catch rate on these are. Like, I don't know what the ball. What, like, are we technically inside? Can I use a dust ball for better results or no? The catch rate's definitely different for uh, raid Pokemon. I haven't failed a single one yet. Got a bottle cap for that, too. Cool, now I just need Porygon 2, and I've gotten all of the trade ones for that without having to uh, actually trade them. Cool, 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 cool. The digital program was installed to create a more advanced Pokemon, but it was apparently flawed. Porygon Z moves oddly as a result. The new Porygon Z card that came out in the latest set looks very uh, implied implied TF-ish, as weird as that is to say. I did. Look it up. Look up the new Porygon, uh, Porygon Z card. What the? Didn't that surprise them? <laughs> I like how that Zangoosh just pieced out.
Where am I? Oh. What is that? Some muck. <laughs> it's running amok. Across the overly bright bridge. Double bat. Oh, that guy's got. That guy's got skills. Battle a wild terror Pokemon. Yeah, mad skills. Funny, I got the battle of wild terror Pokemon from the same uh, in the same spot last time because I remember fighting the Cedra like really quickly just to get a uh, mission. Yeah, it's dragon type. How stupid is that? Because if you evolve it, it becomes a dragon type anyway, so it's like so pointless. You could just get a, a Kingdra with that. I guess you can't, because it doesn't have dragon type beforehand. Hmm. So it's just a little convenient way of getting one with the dragon type, but. I mean. Whatever, man. Hold up. Have I not gone in here yet? Yeah, no, I have. Ink ink. Over, under, and around we go. I could weave you a, Gal a, Galarica, a Galarica cuff or a Galarica wreath if you bring me some Galarica twigs. I'll need eight twigs to make you a cuff. Is that okay? You got it. I'll get it woven in no time. Over and under, around we go. Over, under, watch it grow. Here you go. Freshly woven. Galarica cuff. Cuff made from woven together Galerica twigs. Given to a Galarian Slowpoke makes the Pokemon very happy. Try giving that to a Galarian Slowpoke. You'll see why. Uh, I want the other one too. Wreath, please. Need 15. I think I have enough. Nope, I don't. Alright. Try wandering on the coastal biome. I'm sure you'll pick up a few. Yeah, just go to the beach behind here. That's all there is, because it's there's only uh Galarian Slowpoke. 
back here. I have enough? Yep, I do. Wreath made from woven together Galerica twigs. Placing on the head of a Galarian Slowpoke makes the Pokemon very happy. I don't know if it's an equipable item that they need to be holding or if they could just use it on them, like an Evo item. I like how when Coridon hits a wall, it makes like a mechanical, like, smash sound. One moment. Just love Slowpoke. How about you? Madika, the student. Slowbro and Slow King. Well, they're the Galarian forms. I, I keep thinking of the one where it's inside the shell completely, and that's um that's just Mega Slowbro. I believe the one on the left is. Actually, I think they're both poison. I can't remember. I don't remember what the distinction between them is. Larry Slowbro is poison psychic. What about Slow King? Poison Psychic, yeah. Takes three PP. Eerie Spell. Redu it's, a, it's a PP removing move. Honestly, I like the Galarian Slowbro better. Just because it has a handgun.
What's Galarian Slowbro's signature move? Slow, no! Shell Sidearm. The move inflicts physical or special damage, whichever will be more effective. May also poison the target. That's honestly way better than Slow King. Galarian Slow King, it's just you hit the enemy and it takes away 3 PP from their last move. Which is like, okay, that's useful, but like... Eh... Slowpoke you find here in the coastal biome are Galarian Slowpoke. Apparently there are some fairly tropical areas in Galar where Slowpoke are found. Yep. Do you know that Slowbro's neutral special he wields a gun? God damn it. Every time. What are you doing? Get out. Look, they're mating. They need to be come up with a better way to scroll through these menus in the next game. Because it's just getting to the point where, like, get it, going through every single hold item just takes forever. <laughs> for for the, no reason. Okay, so it is an evolution item. Slowpoke evolved into Slowking. It administers its potions to weaken Pokemon it sees. These potions are derived from poison and secreted from holes in Slowking's horns. Eerie spell, yeah. User attacks with tremendous psychic power. This also drains 3 PP from the last move used by the target. See, the thing is, if I keep running around here, I'm almost guaranteed to eventually just get a shiny Slowpoke, because they're, they're, like, the only thing that spawns on this beach. And I kind of want one, because shiny Galarian Slowbro is, is very cool. If you like mo mono-colored Pokemon. In fact, it almost feels like they put this little cave here specifically to respawn all of them. Shiny Luck's definitely been in the toilet tonight. Compared to what I compared to what happened off stream, I'm kind of uh, batting a zero here.
Go for about another 30 minutes. I did want to do another gym challenge, but... Or another Elite Four challenge, but I don't know... If I can do it in, in 30 minutes. Do that and win the fight in that amount of time. Already? Wait, what do you mean already? What else am I gonna do? That's the next, pl like, the plot point right now is to beat all of them. Whoops. Because I've already unlocked it. The gym the next gym challenge is right there. Or the next Elite Four challenge is right there. Yeah, all you have to do to do the challenges is get to the actual, like, arena, which I already did, because I've already explored this biome fully. See, now I'm getting, like, desperate for a shiny spawn. And that's not good. I'm, I'm starting to fall into the mindset of, I deserve one to show up now. Which, uh, absolutely is not the case. One more. Again, I don't want to waste too much time doing this. Like, this is the whole reason I explored off-stream. Alright, never mind. It's not here. Maybe later. to the Coastal Plaza. We're the team that supports Miss Lacey of the Elite Four. And you're Michael, right? One of the BB League challengers? You'll need to hand over 50 BP if you want to take on the Elite Trial here. Are you ready and willing to pay? You paid 50 BP. Thank you very much. Duly received and noted. We need you over here, Miss Lacey. Coming. 
Oh, if it isn't Michael, I'm so glad you decided to pay me a visit. Please follow me. I'll show you to the trial site. Thank you for coming to the Coastal Plaza to challenge me. And I'm really sorry for the way I protested you joining the BB League, Michael. Of course, it's true that it's quite irregular under the bylaws of our school clubs. But mainly, I didn't want you to get dragged into the drama that's been troubling the club lately. I suppose our trial's already officially begun, though, so let's get to it and have some fun. The trial came up with is a Pokemon quiz. I'll ask you five questions about Pokemon. If you can answer them all correctly, then you pass. Are you ready to attempt my Pokemon quiz, Michael? Yeah, sure. Great, then I'll just get everything ready. Test your knowledge in the Pokemon quiz. It's Pikachu! Alright, here we go. And look, it's everyone's favorite Pokemon, Pikachu, here to help. And with that, question one. Pikachu is an electric-type Pokemon well-known for producing electricity within its body. But which part of its body does it store the electricity it generates? Go right for the body part that you think is correct. It's the cheeks. He's, ca it's a, it's, he's caked up. Caked up in his face. Ding, ding, ding! You got it! Pikachu stores electricity in the electric sacks in its cheeks. If you poke the sacks, you'll get a little shock, but don't you think they're super round and cute? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the next quiz, quiz question. Quiz. Take a look at Venonat here. It's bigger than you'd think it'd be, isn't it? But it's also fluffy and squeezable and terribly adorable, really. So here we go with question two. Even in the darkest nights, Venonat is able to use which part of its body like a radar, which allows it to detect surrounding objects. Which part of Venonat's body acts like a radar? Go right for the body part that you think is correct. Antennae. Yeah, there we go. No! Hmm, that's close, but incorrect. I do see why you'd think that, though. I'll give you a hint. What we're looking for is quite a large part of Venonat's body. Now guess again. That's right, it's Venonat's big eyes that serve as radar, so is there no penalty for doing this wrong? Isn't Venonat even more adorable when you think about how it sees the world we can't see? Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the next quiz. Yeah, there's like no penalty for doing this wrong. It's way quicker than the last one. Getting weary of my quiz? How about a tea of- how about a cup of tea? Or maybe these three Sinisty siblings. Here's question three. Sinisty live in precious antique teacups. But there are lots of phonies out there. It's hard to tell which cups are genuine art antiques. One of these three synesty is an antique form of synesty, meaning it found a real antique cup. So which synesty has the real deal? I can't s I can't tell it, because the thing is underneath them. There's a sticker on the bottom. That's that's how you know which one's real. But I can't see them. Oh, no, no, no. That's not the right one. You might find a clue if you pay attention to the underside of the cups. Now try again. Yeah, I know, but I can't... Oh, I see. It's, per it's just a pink one. Purple one. Ding, ding, ding. You spotted it. That's right, an antique form Sinistee can be recognized by the mark on the bottom of its cup. But it doesn't matter if whether they're antique or phony. They're all so darn cute. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to our next quiz question. Minior. This is the Meteor Pokemon, Minior. Comes in all different kinds of colors, you know. First, I ask you to take a good look at this pinkish Minior for me, okay? Oh, good. Alright, guys, mix your stuffs up real good. Perfect. Now we're ready for question four. Which these is the? Where's the pinkish minion that I first showed you? Right there. Oh, 
Ding, 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 you did it! Even after they return to their meteor form, you still managed to find the right one. Aren't Minyar adorable? Their coloration varies based on what they eat. Now then, I think we're ready to move on to the very last quiz question. Oh look, here comes Granbull. Maybe it heard the word pink and decided to stop by. This little sweetie is one of my own Pokemon. It's always with me. Our last question, question 5, will involve Granbull here. Granbull's quiet, delicate, and lovable, of course, but you could tell me that. can you tell me this? When I take a nap with my adorable Granbull, which part of its body do I use as a pillow? I, I mean, I guess the tummy. Tummy. Ding, 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 that's a right, exactly right. I use that soft, adorable tummy. When I cuddle up to it, it's so soft and cozy, we both fall asleep in just seconds. And that's the end of my quiz. You managed to get all five of my questions right, which means... Congratulations, Michael! You officially cleared my elite trial. That was incredibly easy. Why... Why was there no penalty for losing? Why don't we head back to the plaza? At least someone likes Gramble in this game, yeah. Well, she's a fairy-type user. Since you passed my elite trial, you've earned the right to challenge me to a battle. But what do you want to do now? Ready to move straight to it? No. No problem. I'll be ready whenever you are. Uh, I guess we're good. Use the Gramble in Gen 2. Nice. I did like Snubble. I was never really huge on Gramble, though. Got it. No time to waste then, right? Let's get to our positions. Okay, this should be about far enough. Let me properly introduce myself for this. I am Lacey of the Elite Four. I really didn't expect I'd get a challenge from someone like you, Michael. Rightfully, you do belong to a different school. Honestly, I'm still a bit shocked, but I won't let my personal feelings get in the way of our battle. So, uh, let's see. First of all, I should tell you I mostly use fairy-type Pokémon. There's just nothing like adorable pink fairy, right? They're weak to poison and steel. Anything too caustic or cutting just doesn't suit them. Oh, but you must already know all this already, right, Michael? Now, for this battle, I'm not going to hold anything back. I want to be sure you walk away with a proper understanding, after all. You're about to learn that cuteness is real strength. Lacey. This time I'll be facing you with my usual party as a member of the Elite Four. special moves and then also intimidate us. Nice. Why'd you have to land that kind of hit? Now that's just not right. for the present trick you did. <laughs> Again. Very good. It's a rock-solid strategy to go after weaknesses, which is why I'll be turning it right back on you. Free Marina getting its two seconds of screen time. Good taste this team, yeah.
Ah, oh, shit. Tailwind. Not great. Also not super great. Ow. Man, Meowski Rada really doesn't have good stats, huh? Anyway, this might be King Gambit's chance here. Retaliating. Ah. Ah, come on. Why's everything gonna burn? That completely fucks King Gambit over. Little pain, yeah. Just a bit. Nice. Hang in there. Oh, come on. Why does it get to go first? Ow. Okay, finally got that one down. And that one. Alright, down to our last two now. Ow, creamy. Or Alchemy, I guess. And Excadrill. Guessing Excadrill has fairy type, uh. something or other. All eyes on her great big terrestrial heart. Time to get even cuter and cuter. Fairy type, uh, Excadrill. Oh! I have to pull out the closer again. Really didn't want to do that. But I got all creamy out in one hit. Nice.
Nice! Didn't even need to pull out uh, Croc and Roll. I technically did this with five. Nice. Well, I guess he got hit, so... Counts. Also, Jotaro's not gonna, he's not gonna get any EXP for that. Which means no one gets any EXP for that. EXP really should be given out before the feigning happens. At least it's not as bad as uh, Legends. Pokemon Legends. Getting the EXP... If you get knocked out, you, you wouldn't get anything. Because the EXP for each Pokemon was only calculated at the very end of battle. So you would get literally nothing if you got knocked... If you fought all the way to the end and then got knocked out at the last Pokemon, your Pokemon would get nothing. I hate losing, but I love seeing such cute Pokemon. Michael, Michael, did you see? Did you see our Pokemon battling it out? Oh, it's almost too much. They were just too cute, even for me. They were super... You're the cutest, Lacey. Psst, nope, wrong. We're not talking about me. We're talking about my Pokemon. Your Pokemon were very cute as well, Michael. You're ugly, though. Uh, you know, it's not just right... It's not... It's just not right for two people to hog all this cuteness between them. Why don't we go wrangle up the cute Pokemon here for a cute picture so we could share with everyone? Aw. Stunky is the cutest. Stunky is very cute. Oh, this one is just too cute. I'm going to make myself a backup copy or three. I'll give you this as well, as proof of your cuteness. Alluring voice. 227. User attacks the target with its angelic voice. It also confuses the target if its stats have been boosted during the turn. You're, all, oh, you're really very strong when you get serious in battle, Michael. wonder how far you'll be able to get facing off against the strongest trainers in our school. I'll be keeping an eye on you and your progress. Cubes. Is, uh, is Drayton gonna show up and, yeah. Yo, yo, champ in the making! So that's two Elite Four members down already, huh? You sure are crushing it. Lacey's all about cuteness, and that's what helps her poke make her Pokemon stronger. She's so into her team, training the little cuties doesn't even feel like work to her. Wild, right? Bet it's the same for you, huh? You work so hard at it, because you like it. I'm like a certain someone who always seems busy running himself and everyone around him to the ground just to get a bit stronger. You know, Lacey's polite to everyone else, but she's really blunt with me. Wonder why. Seems like things are going well with the BB League. Right, Michael? What's up, mighty champion, scoping out the competition? I was getting worried. It'd be so disappointing if Michael had gotten weaker. But you seem as strong as ever, thankfully. Michael, go all the way. Don't go losing. I can't show you how strong I've gotten if you don't even make it to me. <laughs> Someone's good and riled up. Anyway, you got places to be, right? Better not keep you. See ya. Good luck with the remaining Elite 2. Congratulations for a victory over Miss Lacey, the Elite 4 member of this biome. It is four. I have to stop. After I do one more uh, scope of the beach here. That's not a slow poke. I 
I got another random floating Blossom. It's weird. Isn't there a sandwich or a piece of food in the cafeteria that actually boosts shiny chance? It's expensive though, right? I guess I could check I could check real quick. Let's just like check all the Pokemon this is high. Alright, I got my other cookie. Here, I can eat that after the stream's done. Oh no, it's only 150. Academy special. Seems to be hung really hungry, so I'll do it a little extra. It'll be ready in no time. It's got jelly beans in the corner. There you go. Good luck with your studies, okay? Oh, I can't call for Man, I hate the- I hate how the school, like, has to load in a separate area. menu. How do I buttons? No. I should use that sound clip while I was doing the uh, Yu Hakusho review earlier. It's worth, it's worth noting, Sparkling Power 1 isn't really that big of an upgrade. What the? That Slack Off is like... stuck. <laughs> like, it's supposed to be over here, but it's stuck on the, on the thing, so it's just not moving right. Trying to stop. I'm just like, I can't. Can't stop, won't stop. Look, it's almost Christmas. I can afford to stay up late. Anything to recapture any little bit of a uh, Christmas spirit.
want to make sure I'm actually looking for the right thing here. Okay, I am. This isn't a subtle shiny. When you when when I find a shiny of the, you'll know right away. Slow pokes here. Karma, I need your luck, like right now. Meowdy, you've returned. It's almost time for it's time for me to go. I'm not gonna do this for a half hour, don't worry. Check the cave. There's nothing in the cave. The cave is just a little pass pathway with no Pokemon in it. I think all sparkling power does is it just increases the shiny odds. It doesn't set an encounter with a shiny Pokemon at any point. It's like every Pokemon that shows up gets rolled an extra time. are actually getting respawned because that executes still there. Even the auto battle's not quick enough anymore.
Ah. It's like cracking open trading cards. Only instead of money, it's just your time. A heart skill farm never ceases. Yeah, they're useless now, though. You don't need them for anything. If, if anything now, instead, you just get the, uh... The love disc piece. Like, I've used for TMs. Just want a shiny slowpoke. I don't normally ask for shinies, but come on. Just having amazing shiny luck this entire playthrough. Could happen, yeah. I mean, this should be considerably the easiest shiny to farm. Since the majority of what spawns here is Slowpoke. of insanity. It's 4.15 now. I, I really gotta stop, though. Like, it's taking all my restraint to not keep doing this. Which I'm failing at because I'm still doing it. All right, last last wrap around, and then uh, we're done. I mean, I can just eat another sandwich and come back here. 150 uh, BP is not a lot to farm. I should probably buy some more stuff from that PC as well. It's like thinned out. I killed all of them. One more, one more. I think these are the same ones. I don't think they're despawning. Well. 
Yeah, I think the games aren't despawning because that sh muck has been there for a while. Yeah, even with the boost today, my shiny luck sucked. Sorry to say. All right. I'm going to I'm going to call it there. I'll try it again later. Maybe I'll wander around a bit and try to find another shiny instead. One more one more save for good luck. Yeah, that's how it be sometimes. That's how it be all the time usually. It's only in the recent games that it has not been like that. Anyway, thank you for coming. Today was a long stream. Gonna try to keep it going. Uh, tomorrow I'll try to be here early again. We'll do Ace Attorney. Uh, we probably won't finish the third case in one go, but we'll see how far we get in it. My goal is to at least get through the rest of the uh, investigation, first court day, and then maybe the second investigation. And then uh, we'll see what happens. Again, it's kind of weird because, like, after this case, after the next case, it go Yeah, it's a case three, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, it doesn't look like there's a ton of people streaming right now. In fact, everyone streaming is pretty, uh... Has a lot of people, has a lot of viewers. Okay. Well, you know what? Gamer Wolf, I know them. Let's give them a raid. They're playing a Gunfire Reborn. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, just stick around. Or check out my Twitch page for recommended streamers. I'll be back tomorrow with Phoenix Wright. Uh, hopefully early again. And uh, same with Thursday. And again, I might stream Saturday this week as well. We'll see. But uh, thank you so much for coming. Have a great evening, everyone. I need to get something to eat and go to bed. Take care. I will see you tomorrow.